All right. I believe. I believe we are live. We are live. <clears throat> just going to give a moment, just in case, so I can get a mic or video check. And then we're going to get started. I have this one piece of hair, so it wants to apparently fly away, fly away. That's okay. All right, Teresa Mazzotti says hi. Hello. Okay, and Teresa, you I hope that you can hear me and see me. Oh, oh, it's right here by my feet. I shouldn't have put it by my feet. You can't reach it. I'm just going to be right back. I have to grab something. Uh, Tara Giblin. Tara Giblin Art. Hello. Hello. Mike and video check. Teresa. Great. Okay. Let me just grab this. Oh. <clears throat> Whew, I should have like thought that over <laughs> I put that down you can hear and see me Gypsy Heart Crafts says mic check video check okay ah, today <clears throat> I am really excited because if you haven't noticed there's a little different stuff going on here so yeah let's uh let me just get this on by desk and set it down because that is what I'm going to unbox with you. Okay. Oh, sorry. I just like, I grabbed my palette and I said, because I knew I was going to need palettes today so I can try all these like, great things to show you. And I said, oh, let me grab that palette. And I grabbed it and I was like, oh no, there's stuff on the palette. So I ran down, got it all squared away. And now I'm back and this piece of hair is going to drive me so we just tuck it tuck it all there okay and okay so last week I tried out Ecamm Live <clears throat> and I hope that you guys love it because I went with it I decided to go with it what one second apparently okay there we go there was something on my monitor preventing me from seeing. It's crazy in here. I have got, I'm going to have to record and excuse me for just reaching right at you there. <clears throat> I am going to have to record this new space. I'm in the same space. Hi, Jamie Eddie. Jamie Eddie is here. And okay, I don't know why it looks like you guys are buffering. I sure hope not. I sure hope not. I am watching the feed. Whoa, I'm watching the feed over on <laughs> YouTube. And it looks like you're buffering. Please let me know if you are. Oh, hopefully the chat will come through and tell me. Yeah, because I am not sure. I'm not sure what's what's going on there it just looks like it's frozen guys and I am hoping not I don't know what's up with this so yeah no buffering for me okay so you guys are fine you guys can see it then it's just going to be that page over there okay no it's okay it's okay all right if you're saying it's okay, then we are going to trust that you know that you're seeing me. <laughs> okay. So no buffering. Nope, it's okay. No buffering. All right. Well, that is three no bufferings. So we're going for no buffering for the win. And uh, yeah. All right. I don't know. Will this work? No, it doesn't. So. Oh, but the. Oh, okay. What happened? It stopped. See? That's what I said. You guys must have must be catching up with the buffering problem. I I don't know. I wonder if I can refresh. <sighs> oh, I hope that this is like not mess the, anything up because if it does, I will I will start again. I will start again. So never fear if this messed up, I'm, I will be back. I'm going to try to refresh. We will hope. I am hoping. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. It never stopped for me. Oh boy. Ah. Well, I don't know. 
Okay, so Gypsy Heart Crafts, can you tell me, do you have this? Because I am not seeing it on my other screen. Showing me, I'm seeing you guys' conversation. And it looks like, yeah, it looks like it's going. So, okay. Okay. We're just gonna, <laughs> we're gonna like keep our, you know, it's in it. This is the, yeah, this is the first time. Well, no, we tested it out last week, but this is the first time since it's been, <clears throat> okay, you have me, no stopping, no buffering. We're good. Teresa, hopefully you are refreshed and you're good. Ah, <sighs> you sound, your sound. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Yay. All right. Um, put that mouse back away now. So let me just real quick, real quick. This is what we're doing today. I received. <clears throat> okay. I received some gifts from some of you. Um, <clears throat> huge. Thank you. It was, uh, oh, sorry. My hair is like stuck on my neck. Oh, okay. Yay. Our, and our Joseph Fincham is here. Says it's working for him too. Okay. Perfect. We are working. All right. So I know that Gypsy Heart Crafts may not be able to stay long because I know her husband just got home from a trip. <clears throat> so let me just <clears throat> take a deep breath. Everything's fine now. We are working. We're alive. And just because I know that she might have to duck out um, and just a huge thank you because I had to I told you before. Let me just I'm going to get you looking down at the desk here. So one second um and again it's going to take me just a quick moment to be used to this stuff but that is that is so not what that's supposed to be wait a minute wow not isn't this fun okay so they're not where they're supposed to be i will remember i will try to remember it's backwards for today i'll fix it <clears throat> let me pull this in where you can see it okay so, so much is happening you see there's a new backdrop behind me i am in a different i'm in the same space i am still in the same studio i've been in but it has received a major over overhaul rearranging organizing and organizing like the new year started and i was just like i i need i need my space to be wonderful and be just inviting and comfortable for me to work in and better organized and more room. So, so cramped the way I had it before. So I've rearranged it. I'll have to record it real quick and do like a real quick tour. You guys have already seen all the things that are in here, so I don't need to go that much into depth, I don't think. But I do have everything is all set up. And of course, there's the, the new backdrop. So, yeah. And... Just, oh, George Pencilar is here. Hi, George. <clears throat> okay. So in case Ashley has to go, because these were sent to me from Ashley. And I had already mentioned that to you guys when I showed you the core watercolors. And I did put a link in the, I'm shaking my desk. <clears throat> I did put a link in the description below to that video. So if you wanted to go back and check out when I tried out the core watercolors for the first time and gave you guys my first impression, then of course you can do that after the video. And this was some of the colors. And remember we did the, the lifting and um, yes, that was when we learned about the magic eraser. And I don't know why. Oh, I know why. <laughs> okay. Just, I was like, why am I shaking? That camera's attached to the desk. I've, I've done a lot of things in here so that cameras are not no longer attached to the desk, but I forgot that this one up here, okay, it's all right, it's still a work in progress, but she also sent me these. And so this is the Schmincke Liquid Charcoal, and they come in three colors, and it is Grapeseed, Cherry Pit, and Peach Stone. And let me just show you the little swatch. I'm gonna do bigger ones of these today, and I'm gonna really show you. Uh, can I get, yep, there you go. Look at that grape seed, cherry pit, and peach stone. And how about that camera? <sighs> I am so excited. I've been telling you guys. 
And I felt like, gosh, all I have to do, like, I keep telling you guys, I promise it's going to get better. I promise it's going to get better. <clears throat> My Canon camera came in. There was a problem. It had to be replaced. It was a big holdup. It was just, it was a whole thing. But now it's here and it is now going to be your overhead. And hopefully, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, George, I just saw George's snack. So we'll go, we'll cover that in a minute. Uh, anyways, so yeah, I hope that, I hope that you guys enjoy it. I hope that you enjoy the new view. Um, I do have a new angle, which you kind of caught a quick glimpse of a moment ago. So <clears throat> let me just, <clears throat> sorry guys, I've got to raspberry tea today. Usually I have water in an enclosed container. I'm just pushing my luck today. That's all. However, these here that um, Ashley sent me, I also put a link in the description below <clears throat> to her video. She created a beautiful eagle with these and she actually gave that eagle away. And coincidentally, which I was not expecting. I didn't think that she would include me. I mean, I commented on the video when she said she was giving it away. But, you know, at, back at that time, this has been a while. Gosh, Ashley, I don't even know how long ago that was. Um, it's been a bit. <clears throat> Anyhow, this was like last year, last before Christmas. And we were both moderators um, for a different channel at that time. And, uh, I, you know, so I didn't think she was going to, that she would like include me. I wasn't expecting it. And then her random generator picked me and she sent me that piece of artwork, which my apologies, because I think it, November, she says, I think. So my apologies, because, um, yeah, unfortunately, <clears throat> I meant to grab it. I meant to grab that before I started so that I could show it to you. And I'm terrible because I don't have it. So okay. I put the link. It's in the description. If you want to see it after the live, go check it out if you haven't already seen it because it's amazing. Oh my gosh, she did an amazing job. So we're going to see those today. The core I'm going to do really quickly because you guys have seen me use the core before. So I don't think we need to like go into detailed swatching or stuff like that. But of course, I will use them in some capacity today. But really, I want to look at these. And then... <gasps> This box here came and my, okay, so Teresa Mazzotti, a huge thank you to you. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So Teresa said, if I send you some supplies, will you, will you try them out? Will you use them? <clears throat> Man, I, and I said, absolutely. And she, so I was expecting, I was not expecting can I just hold this up next to me? Like, I was not expecting this box, Teresa. Oh my goodness. Like, wow. Thank you. Thank you. I have not looked inside here yet. Now I do know she said, she said acrylic inks. So that's what I'm expecting. And I certainly hope I can be tipping this on its side, Teresa. Well, I should hope so because I would imagine that when they, in shipping, they probably did not take as much care of it. Um, and I wanted to open it guys. Oh my gosh. I was trying to open this. So I had my patron chat is, <coughs> excuse me, my Patreon or my live chat with my patrons over on discord, which is, you know, one of the, uh, benefits of my Patreon <coughs> that was, it's every Friday. And so last Friday, last Friday, we, um, okay. Teresa says, you're welcome. Thank you so much. I just can't, I can't believe this. And, um, there's lots of packing and the, oh, and the bottles are glass. Okay. Okay. I'm going to be, take extra care <laughs> because I fear I will, I will do something very bad. <laughs> oh, all right. <clears throat> so. Oh, thank you, Tara. I am doing, I am doing so much better than last week. Oh my goodness, guys. My huge apologies because last week, 
I've com contemplated taking last week's live stream and making it unlisted because I was trying to update the links for you guys so that you could do the quick navigation if people were watching the replay. And um, yeah, I was like, the coffin came on and, and it was just, I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was something in the studio. Oh, and then it was like, it was happening and then I'm realizing it's happening. So of course it's getting worse and it took a while to go away. It was stressful. It was embarrassing to watch after the fact. And I was just like, oh, it's still up there for now. It may come down. I, do, I don't know. But anyhow, um, and George had said he was having grits. His snacks. Of course, George, George Pencil Art is here. He has a channel also on YouTube. You can check that out. <clears throat> and um, I always tease when I'm moderating in other people's live streams that George always has to bring the snacks. So every time George shows up, which happened because George showed up one day and said, hey, I'm here and I'm having a snack. And then the next time he showed up, he was talking about his snack again. And so it just ended up that I was like, hey, George, you've got to bring snacks for everybody. And so now it's always, you know, what's, what snacks does George have today? And he says, today, believe it or not, It's, it's sardines and grits. I don't know how you feel about that. Well, obviously, George feels great about it. <laughs> I personally don't like sardines. <laughs> and not really a grits fan. But that's okay. That's okay, because guess what? He's not using... He's not eating them with my mouth, so we're fine. <laughs> so, oh, Jamie, thank you. Thank you. It... Oh, wait a minute. Where did they? Okay, look, I looked. Yeah. And it did not click. Oh, it just didn't click it. There we go. There we go. Now it did. I'm like, oh, so this is wonderful. All I have to do is I have to click on what you guys say. But the only problem is, is it doesn't tag me and make it orange like it did before. So I might have to come up with something else for you guys to do like just type Angela in all caps or something at the beginning so that I know you're talking to me. I don't know. We have to, we're going to have to figure that out because this doesn't, I do have um, the old pop out on the monitor that's um, right above where you guys are. So yeah, but I can't click on that one to share it with you now. It's all done within Ecamm, which is beautiful. And this program thus far is, I'm liking it. Hopefully you guys are liking it. Hopefully the quality is better. And, you know, that is my goal. Let's just keep one little thing each time, making it a little bit better, a little bit better. We're going to get there. So, <clears throat> without further ado, <coughs> I'm grabbing my, my razor knife very carefully. And I am going to open this box. I removed, of course, I already removed the you know, the shipping labels and stuff like that, because I'm not going to put that out there to the world. So I removed all of that, but okay. She packaged it really, really well. So I was telling you that Fridays we do our live chats for patrons and big thank you to all of my patrons. Teresa is a patron. And I was saying after the live stream Friday that I wanted to get this open and see what was inside here and be able to play because it came. It had not come. And it, I think it, it arrived. Yes, yeah, Jared. Jer so. <coughs> Jared says, be careful with the knife. Welcome home, Jared. I'm being very careful. I am only cutting towards myself. Now I'm cutting away from myself. Um... So anyhow, during the live, during our, sorry, that, so I now know that that camera, which I thought was going to be fine, um, that's facing me, <coughs> it is mounted on the pole that my Huion tablet is on, and, whoa, <laughs> I just went to, <laughs> I'm going to share this with you guys, this is great, oh, let me go to the overhead. Okay, right there. Okay, so I just went to open this and it was like, let me turn it around for a second. So it was down and I went to open it and when I did, it was like, boom. And that 
just jumped right out of the box and scared the heck out of me. So, all right, the camera should focus on that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull them out of the box, put them on top of the box so that you can see. Now, and I'm going to throw the packing on the floor to be picked up later. Keep it out of our way. So I said on Friday that, um, I said on Friday in the Patreon chat that they should, it should be arriving. And then it did arrive while we were in the chat. Oh, you did pack this. Oh, you packed this really well. Okay. So then, oh my goodness, it's heavy. There's a box in a box. This might, oh yeah. Okay. This might make it easier. <coughs> All right. We have another box. Um, it's like Christmas. I just couldn't believe it. And so during our chat, and then it, it came, the male person came and I was like, as soon as we are done, I'm going to get that and I want to open it. And then I had reached out to Teresa again. And I was like, as soon as I open this, I'm going to let you know, this is why I have not gotten back to you yet. Everything has been so crazy trying to get everything ready for, um, obviously the new setting and the new software and all of that stuff. And it was just like, I just did not get to it. And I was like, I am not opening it until I have everything set up so that I can bring everything to you today, live squirrel. Oh, you know it, you know it. Um, I did. And where did I derail? Cause I know I derailed somewhere. I said, Patreon chat guys, it's my ADHD and it, it's been really, really bad lately. So. It's not hard for me to find another subject or somebody say something and I'm like, whoo, off on that subject. I forget what I told you in the first place. And then I look like a goofball who can't recall anything. And um, yeah, and if there are any of you who have ADHD, okay, do you know what it's like being an artist with ADHD? If you have it, you, you certainly do. Um, I think that's part of the reason I, I, I choose or chose to pursue my art again because there's so many things to keep my mind occupied that I don't get, I can't get bored. Okay. So Friday with patrons live chat, it wasn't here. It arrived, told her I was going to check it out. Hadn't got a chance to yet. And, uh, Teresa says, uh, Teresa says, I am sorry. Why are we, why, why are we sorry? There was lots of packing. It's packaged very well. Did I, I don't know if I missed something. My apologies if I did. Hello. Let me just say hello. Hello to Dealing Creative Art. So glad that you are here today. And hobby artist. Hello, hobby artist. Okay. And Miss Bell Jarrett is also in the house. The packing. Okay. Yeah, the packing. No, don't be sorry. It was, it's one, it is wonderful. And it feels like it is definitely arrived safe and sound. I would have been. I would have been crushed if it hadn't. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> we are good. Oh, look. Oh my God. Oh. oh my gosh, Teresa. Wow. Guys. I, yes. You just went. Oh my goodness. You just went above and beyond. And look at this. This packaging is fantastic. I, I just have to tell you that I think that um, these sides may get flipped in or cut off. And this is how they may just store for. I I am just like, <gasps> wow. Wow. I, I, I am very. That was very generous of you. And I really greatly appreciate that. And I am opening up Teresa's letter now. Um, okay. So she says, hi there, Angela. Here are, I just wanted to make sure there wasn't anything that she might not want me to share. <clears throat> and it looks like it's fine. So she says, hi there. Uh, hi, Angela. Here are the promised inks. They are transparent. Um, 
Transparent FW inks in pearl, shimmering green. Right there, there, okay. Again, this is me. Just bear with me. There are transparent FW inks in pearl, shimmering green, pearl and other regular, so pearl and other regular colors. I also included some System 3 inks that are opaque and there are gold, ooh, regular colors and a fluorescent pink. I labeled all the bottles with the color numbers and put a pink stripe on the opaque inks. And I hope that's not popping because I just realized how I was like, oh, I'm just getting really, I was getting really excited. Sorry. <laughs> Big inks. And so I hope you enjoy them and let me know what you think. I think this is amazing. Ah, <sighs> your friend, Teresa. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, Teresa. All right, guys, are you ready? Are you ready? We're going to switch. Let's switch this up. And how about... That's, oh yeah, okay, so this is like, I've got to fix this real quick, guys, or I'm going to keep messing this up on you, and I don't want that to happen, so bear with me for one moment, and then, whoa, whoa, okay, one second. I'm like trying to peek under my desk over there. Oh, my, my keyboard is now on a, Lou added a keyboard tray to my desk because it didn't come with one. And so now, there we go. Now we can, you can see it. So this is my new side camera. This is also a new camera and I am really hoping that you're going to enjoy it. I do have a backup, but you guys have to tell me what you think, but I mean, this is my backup. Yeah, it's a little dark. Do you recognize that? That's the old camera. That is the old camera. And I was just like, I wonder why nothing would ever look so great. Here's the new cam. And then of course we have our overhead cam. Huh? And then of course, back to our side cam. So I hope you like some of these new scenes. And of course there's me talking just straight to you, but we are going to look at what's in here. Okay, so we have Dale Rowney. This is a number 112 Pearl Blue Galaxy FW Acrylic Ink. Oh my goodness, guys. How gorgeous is that color? All right. Then we have again, so Dale Rowney. I'm not going to keep I'm not going to keep saying that name over and over again. And um this is Number 116, Pearl Purple. And again, so acrylic inks. These are, I'm pretty sure, Teresa, these are, you said these are all acrylic inks, correct? So then we have the Dale Rowney, uh, sh ooh, Shimmering Green. So this is Shimmering Green. And that one, that one seems really, I might have to shake it some, because see here, it's like on the bottle. And so we might have to shake that, give that one a little shake, a shake, 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 shake. So, wow, huge difference in the, huge difference the camera made. I hope you guys like it because it has been, ah, oh, shake them before using them. Okay, absolutely. Um, oh, so Hobby Artist asked, <clears throat> Are you going to swatch and try the Daniel Smith watercolor sticks or do we have to wait until next week? Okay. So please, hobby artist, ask me that question again. In in fact, let me see if I can pull it up up here as a reminder for me up top. Okay. I am, oops. I am trying to make sure that there's a reminder for myself of that. All right. If I haven't answered that question in a little bit, remind me. <coughs> Because I will tell you, I'm going to tell you all about that and um, what we will be doing next week, which was not that. So, but I do have them. I do have them right here still. So we will see about that. So this one is Scarlet Red. This is number 567 Scarlet Red. And so she says, I need to shake all of these. So we'll kind of shake them up as we, as we go. Um, this one is... 
Process Magenta. This is number 412. Process Magenta. And hopefully, you guys, I don't think I, I can't really back that one off anymore. Nope, I can't back that off anymore. And is the camera back? Yep, yeah, the camera's backed off. Yeah, camera's backed off all the way. Okay, so that's all right. We'll, we're going to figure this out. And, and the side cam is also a Canon. So we're using, we, we are using much better equipment now. So yes. Number 251, sepia. Do you guys say sepia? Like E, sepia? Or do you say sepia? I've heard it said both ways. Just wondering. Throw me a comment. So this is a 028, which is black. Again, these are the Dale or Rowney FW Acrylic Ink. What does FW stand for? Anyone? Anyone? Okay. And, ooh, this is cool. Gra oh, guys, look at this. I'm so glad I have this right now here. Look at, can you, there we go. Look at how that looks in the bottle. How cool is that? Sepia. See, I say sepia too, Dylan. Teresa says, I have no idea. <clears throat> <clears throat> These are just, ah, oh. see, I do see the separation. Like again, you see there's like some separation here. And um, so this is Dale or Rowney 120 Process Cyan. I wonder if it's going to, and I know that I am in the way right there, which I wonder if I can just bring that down for a moment. I'm going to see if I can move. Hold on. I'm going to move me. Okay. Sepia. See, that's what I said. There we go. And I hope that didn't bother you guys. I know I just pushed me. I'm going to move me back up in a second, and I'm kind of like, right in the way we're gonna move this way just a little bit and then you can see me and then you can see little me right there reminding you to subscribe like do all the things yeah i'm just i ah oh, uh, a good morning starving artist collective good morning good morning to you Sepia. Okay, see? All right, sepia. That's what I say, too. And D-Lynn says sepia is right or wrong. I have no idea. Exactly. So, you know, it's fine. It is fine. All right. So what do we have here? These were the two I just showed you. The cool gray. And look at that cool gray now that I've shaken it up. Now that I've shaken it. And, of course, if I shake, everything in the studio will shake. But now that I've shaken that up, you see how that is now? There it goes. Look at... I'm just, like, the focusing. I'm so... I am so excited Ah, oh, I'm just like thrilled to be able to bring you such a much better picture now. And then the background that that has been <clears throat> that has been a labor. Let me tell you what. So uh, 151 Marine Blue. If you guys remember, ooh, that is a this is a gorgeous blue. Sepia. I'm sticking to it. Yeah. I, that's what I see. That's what I've always said too. I don't sepia. I don't. I know there are people that do and that's okay. That's fine. You say it. Whatever is comfortable for you because that's fine. I was just curious. Just curious. So number 651 is lemon yellow. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Number 554. Four is Red Earth. And guys, okay, so I have to make sure that I say, <coughs> Teresa told me that she wanted to send me some acrylic inks. And I, I made a mistake. I, I said alcohol inks in what was that? Were we in um, Ashley's stream, I think, when I in the chat? I don't recall. I don't recall, but I know I, I said, I said alcohol. She corrected me. No, they are acrylic. Ooh, and here, okay, so here we go. Here's one that has the pink line, so it is opaque. And this is Dale or Rowney 578 Portrait Pink. Oh, look at that one. Look at how, I just, the focus, I'm loving it. Oh, I am loving it. 
how many times is going to be in your head today, <laughs> Dylan? Oh, that's that's funny. <clears throat> yeah, sorry. My apologies. Uh, sepia. So we have, um, see the pink stripe. So we know that this one is opaque. And this one, again, opaque. And this is 663 yellow ochre. Let's give that one a little shake. And I'll do it again before I go to put them on a palette to try. And I have, um, so in true, you know, disclosure here. So this is number 361, Thalo Green. Again, this is one that's, look at that. See how they, you see the separation? So yeah, definitely shaking. <clears throat> so I knew that she was going to be sending me some acrylic ink. And, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. I, we're not going there again. So I looked up acrylic ink. So what makes it acrylic ink? You know, George, that is a fantastic question. I'm going to see if I can't get you that answer because I don't have the answer right now, but I'm going to see if I can get it for you. <clears throat> okay. Not sponsored. If you guys saw the Arizona tea thing, not sponsored. I wish I was. Wouldn't that be great? No, this this today's live episode is brought to you by Teresa Mazzotti and Ashley Smith. So huge thanks to them. They've sponsored today's live with their amazing and incredible gifts they've sent. I just still cannot. You guys touched me like I. Yeah, three seventy five. So this is sap green. Oh, did I tell you guys the name of the last color I just put down? Well, you might have been able to read it, but it was 154, which was a phthalo turquoise. Ooh, I love it. Ooh, can you see my light right right there behind my topiary? My topiary lights, I meant to replace their batteries, but then I just got so worried about being on this lights up. So, <clears throat> <sighs> okay. Yeah, see, it's going to be hard for me following everything in the... I did get what makes them acrylic inks. I'm just scrolling up at the top to make sure because I can see the at Clark Fine Art up there. I can't see it on here. So, and I know I was missing a question. I know I missed a couple things. And yeah, we've got to, we've got to figure out a new way for you guys to say something to me because this is different. This is definitely um, a different format. And it presents to me on the screen differently. So I am not seeing where that comment was for me to be caught up. Okay. Oh my gosh, Joseph. I am not. I am not. They touched me like right here in my heart. It was like, it was like right here. <laughs> it was like here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see. Well, Teresa had asked me, I can't find the chat down in this chat, but I see it up top. It says, love your organization in the back. This is, let me go to the, I'll go to that for a second. Um, wait a minute. We are not, we are not getting sidetracked. I will go to that in a, in a moment because this is number 363 and it is the olive green, olive green. Did that one have a, no, no pink line on that one. And this one you saw was the sap green. Ooh, this one is an opaque. Ooh, it's purple. So number 433, it is purple. The System 3 Acrylic Ink Opaque. Um, and I don't have this linked below because I could not remember the one that she said, but I will link it up for you in the description as soon as we are done. Um, I will probably get you a link. Of course, I do have a link right to Blick. There's always a link directly to Blick if you prefer to get your art supplies at Blick. I also have a link directly to Amazon, which will take you right to 
everything painting, crafty, arts type of stuff. It takes you right there. And I just want to say a huge thank you because there have been some of you that are using my affiliate links that I do put in the description below. And you using them definitely is starting to help. It is starting to help me be able to get something like I need more supplies. I know. But it's helping with improvements like these things, you know. So it just and this and it is helping. And I know it doesn't cost you any more, but you choosing to use them does support my content. It supports me as a creator. And I just want to take a moment to say thank you because I have noticed that some of you are using them because I will be receiving a payout this month and for them. So thank you. Okay. Now the Dalert Rowney. This one is the 009 Titanium White. And it said, ooh, now it says that this is opaque. So we are going to, uh, in fact, I'm taking right now, I'm going to grab a scrap paper because I want to make sure that this, I don't think I have this listed in the description either, but I can update it. I love these. So this is the um, Food Nosuke. Did I say that correctly? Does anybody know? Anybody out there at all? I'm sure somebody does. So it's by Tombow and it is the Fudnosuke pen. And this one is the um, black and it is the soft tip. So they're like, they are like this. And that is, um, <clears throat> will this guy pick it up even better for you? Can I get it to, can I get it to do that? Yeah, there you go. Look at that. I couldn't get that close before. Couldn't even. So I'm just going to put a black line here because when we test these opaque colors, we're going to test them on this sheet of paper. And then I know that this will have plenty of time to have dried between now and then. And you will see that this pen, don't prove me wrong, if you wanted to use this for, say, a line and wash, and guys, can, will this show up for you if I do this? I want you to see. I'm just going to move these without, without doing some damage here. So this nib, and I know I'm in your way. Hold on. The way that I can just adjust on the fly in this program, I am absolutely loving it. Okay. So can you see the nib when I do this? It is, and I'm trying, I'm holding it at the very end of the pen so I can reach over everything, but this nib is soft. It feels kind of like, you know, if you had like a felt tip, oh, Angela, if I could get the, it's going to want to, yeah, it's going to want to focus on my hand because my hand is there trying to keep my hand out so you can see just the pen. There we go. So you see that, that nib, it has flex. It does. It's soft, not too much, but I like it. And I'm doing this so that you'll be able to see, we'll test the opaque colors. Okay. We will be doing that, uh, but I want that to dry and then you'll see that once you set it and it's dry, water, soluble, anything does not disturb that liner or that pen or, okay. So another uh, opaque, and this is the 513 Crimson by Dale, or in, by Dale or Rowney. Again, 513, it's Crimson, it is opaque. Don't drop them, they are glass. Uh, trying to keep up. Shake them. Teresa says, shake them before using them. Yes. Is it not? We did say that. All right, hold on. It's easy for me to find Teresa because she has a big T on my screen. Ah, see, I found it. That was the one I was looking for. 
Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm just making sure that I can keep up with the chat for you, so. All right. And we had Starving Artists Collective come in. Shimmery Shiny Things Today. Brand new Shimmery Shiny Things Today Starving Artists Collective from some of the other wonderful people in our group. And so this one is a System 3 acrylic. Again, opaque, 618, cadmium, yellow, deep hue. Look at that one, all nice and sunshiny. Ooh. Okay. Look at this one. Look at it. Look at in the ball. Look how different it is. Okay, focus on this guy. Come on, you can do it. I'm like, I can't, there we go. There we go. So do you see the gray in there? Look at that gray. And then look at the gold. Oh, I bet that is going to be gorgeous. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to be giving that one a shake because we're definitely using that one. Okay. And there we go. Look, forgetting where my camera is empty. Now I am going to set this one ever so gently. I'm going to put it off beside me. Mm. I'm going to put it on the other side beside me so that when I want to set them down, I can set them in the box and not risk hurting anything. <clears throat> Gosh forbid I broke something. Yeah, Cause it would, that would be a mess. Cause you know, I have hardwood floors here. I am on the second floor and uh, it would go through the floorboards. It would land on the ceiling of my living room. And um, eventually, Lou might be looking up going, what the heck's that on the ceiling? I don't know. Shh, don't tell. <laughs> don't tell. Don't tell on me. Oh my goodness. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna shake some of these up. Now, this is what you came for, right? Okay, so while I have to shake some of these up, let us go here so I can show you guys. So yes, this is my new backdrop. Oh. <coughs> Remember last week in my crazy chaos of, I oh, I did not feel, it, it took a turn. It went bad fast. I was so happy. I was like, oh, thank God I'm not on camera because guys, all of a sudden my face was like, white it pale i just pale i was sweating i thought i was going to have to mute my mic and grab my waste basket i was just like we gotta go now we need to end this now finish it because it was it was not gonna be good but i was doing a card and remember so that if i can get there that is how that doesn't it just look tie-dye that was with that br the brush show and i'm like it just look at can i get it closer for you guys i bet you the overhead will show it to you I bet the overhead will show it to you much nicer. There, that's a much better representation of the colors. Thank you, Canon. There we go. What a difference a camera makes. Unbelievable. So yeah, that was the card. That was the card. Um, it's, you know, there's nothing in it right now. I haven't finished it. I thought about doing some other stuff on here or, you know, I don't know, use it as a background and put like attach some things or I don't know. But for now, it's here. This, whoa, was that brush -o piece that we did with the water and the trees <clears throat> and my scanner came, my scanner came yesterday. And I'm really worried because the corner of the box, I'm looking over here. My camera's not over here anymore. This is, you guys used to be here. So now you're here. So my apologies. But, um, so my scanner came in the corner of the box. She's dinged. So I don't know. Hopefully it's all good. Yes. Yeah, so you have a little light in there. It's, it's, it's actually teal. It shows up blue on the, on the, um, <clears throat> showing up blue on the main camera. Yeah, you see it right tucked in in there. <clears throat> wow. <clears throat> but 
This one, of course, was the winter. You guys saw me do that in a video. That's on my channel. That is the red panda. That was a, um, yeah, I did that with uh, my art student. We did, that was like one of our, that was our final lesson. And um, oh, I had so much fun. And Mason, if you are watching, congratulations to you because this year Mason was picked up for the gifted and talented program in art where he attends school because it was a younger um he was a younger student and that was we did that together and he has, his came out amazing so yes I was super proud of him super proud to hear that he is now in the gifted and talented art program so yeah and then in the frame, that is um, a, an acrylic piece I did on paper. And that's actually a print of it. That's not the original. And of course we have, you know, can't we can't miss out on Bob. Bob's here. I got my Bob Ross blanket is like, well, it doesn't want to come up very well, but it is here. It's always attached to my chair because I never know when I'm going to get cold, when I'm not. Um, so yeah, I've got some of my, some alcohol markers there. So my brush and pencil stuff is here. Um, there, these are water-based markers and that is going to be next Friday. Um, excuse me, not Friday. We go live on Thursday. Next Thursday, while I'm supposed to be shaking these. <clears throat> Whoa. I have pallets. I have pallets and pallets. Palettes for the charcoal, more palettes, lots of palettes. I have some different brushes because I'm going to use different brushes for different things. Okay. So next week on Thursday. We are going to be looking at some water-based um, markers. They are, we're looking at two types. So I received, not sponsored, I should say, I paid for. Um, again, wouldn't sponsors be wonderful? So when I, after I shake these and set them down, I'm going to set them down so that they're facing me so that as we do something with these, I can, I can be able to see them. And I'm going to take and get uh, the pipette with some water and I'm going to put some water in the liquid charcoal because we're going to swatch those so you can see them and we would we're going to do we are going to do all of these wonderful amazing colors so I'm going to show them all to you today and then what I may do it will it's all going to depend on time because you know I have every Thursday I have which is <clears throat> flexible but every every Thursday I have a dinner that I go to Thursday just happened to be the day putting the opaque ones on one side the regular ones on that side it's just so I can keep them separate as we go and yeah so I have that afterwards uh, every week um, with another member of my family and so yeah today's we we go Sometimes they're here. Sometimes we go there. So I will be, um, is that going to be enough shaking? I need to make sure that Teresa checks in with me and tells me, am I shaking? Is this going to be enough? Like, I don't see, I don't see any, like, where am I? I'm here. I'm going to get used to the new cameras, guys. I promise. So see, I'm not seeing any other, I'm assuming that that's going to be okay. Because I'm not seeing like, not like this. Like, you see all the different, I'm not seeing that anymore. So then I just assume it's, it's shook, it is shooken well enough. So yes, I can go over, but I can't go over too much because we're traveling. It's not like I just have to go downstairs and be like, Hey, sorry, I'm late. I just finished. And I have to drive there, but it's only five minutes. Well, not even five minutes. It's like two minutes. It's like a street and a partial over. So, <clears throat> all right. And sometimes I think they just go online and check and see, am I still on or am I not or what? So, all right. 
metallic. Did you say, did you say some are pearl? Okay. Okay. So I want to, I'm going to kind of keep those a little separate too. So that's going to be a pearl for sure. And this is a pearl. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh, guys, this one is, look at that. Look at, it's like, oh, look at that color. Okay. <clears throat> Then we have this one. You see, oh, see it. You get that like step. again. This is an older camera, not one of the new ones. The new ones are all on the art. So we have two <coughs> Canon. They're um, M50 Mark II. For those of you who like to geek out over tech stuff like I do, that's what they are. So yeah, we have that going on. All right. Shimmering, ooh, this just looks like it's an iridescent green. Is it iridescent, Teresa? Have you, try have you tried these yet? Have you tried these yet? Oh yeah, it just, I don't know if that's, yep, see it? See the green as it like kind of moves around? All right, I'm gonna put that over here with the pearl type ones. This is an opaque. So I received, I'm talking about next week. So you guys thought I forgot, I didn't. So talking about next week, I've received a couple types of water color markers. So they are, they are either supposed to be like a real brush, a real brush pen, or a dual tip and dual tip brush brush pen. So I wanted to see what is going to be the difference between the dual tip brush pen and the real brush pen. And what are we gonna like? And is there, so I have Tombow. Excuse me, you guys have seen some of the Tombow that I have because I shared that with you in previous videos. Um, at Christmas time, I had the blue set that I got in an art box. And so I figured I'll grab a Tombow and we will compare them to a Tombow and see, because I think it's kind of the standard that maybe most people have tried. So if I say Tombow is like this, this is like this, then maybe that'll help you know what I'm talking about and help you make a choice. Is this something that would be for you? Maybe it would. Maybe it wouldn't, and that's okay. So I have the, oh, this is my, everything you can imagine is real. So these right here are the ones that come from, basically, these are Amazon. Amazon basic markers. Yep, got a set, wanted to know. Are they going to be any good? I don't know. And also watercolor, watercolor markers. Do you guys store them this way? This is the little fine nib. This is the brush nib. This lets you see all the colors, but I'm really thinking about getting them so that they are storing this way, which is not really conducive for this, but I was thinking it would might help just like with alcohol markers, keep both nibs, you know, wet. I don't know. I don't know. Again, you guys have seen I gotta go this way. You guys have seen my, no, it's not working. My um, attempts at the alcohol markers. And these are just some generic, really from Amazon that I had before I got some in um, the art box that, yeah, I don't need to relive that, but the gnome was cute. Um, and then these are from Milo Art, which is a newer company, uh, Milo Art Supplies. So I don't know if you guys have heard of them, but this is a set there. So eventually I'm going to be looking at those and checking those out. Um, these are, I've got two small sets of the, um, the Illustrator. And this is by Spectrum Noir. So I have a couple small sets of those, which is just right here. And then of course I have a few Copics and there's 
a couple art boxes that I have not even gotten to show you guys yet. And there's more in those, but that that's alcohol. I'm not doing alcohol next week at all. There will be no alcohol markers next week. Um, but these again, spare nibs and it is full of markers. It says 144 and 72 markers. There's not 144 colors. I do not know where they, de who determined that if you have a dual tip marker, that gives you 144 colors. It doesn't. It gives you 144 nibs. It gives you 72 markers. It gives you 72 colors. So just to, you know, it's my own little, little tweaked on that one, but you know, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> so we're going to be looking at those things to compare. So those are all the, those, those two and the Ohuhu. So the Ohuhu, uh, dual brush pens and we're going to be comparing this and those to Tombow to the Tombows that I have and we're going to see are these worth your money are any of those worth your money only you can decide that but I'm going to show that to you so that's next week and then we're also going to look at so I got these and I'm not even going to get into my original thoughts on these there is 65 um I will tell you everything about these next week they are a watercolor brush pen. And so all of that is going to happen. There's, like I said, 65 colors in those. Um, not going to get into it because I want to be able to finish this. And then the Ohuhu set. And these are 36. And these are the Ohuhu Aqua Natural Brush. So supposed to be the Ingnart ones were, are supposed to be similar to these. And I want to compare Ohuhu to Ohuhu in the two different styles and then show you a couple alternatives in each of those styles. So that's what we're doing next week. And we're gonna play with them and we're gonna see some fun things you can do with them. And so if you are interested in the water, that one piece is still gonna make me crazy. If you are interested in the watercolor pens, brushes, what have you, I will see you next week. We're gonna do it. And let me go back through now and as i finish shaking i'm going to catch up with the chat and then we are going to put some play with some colors okay and that was a great just a second so it's not what there we go Haha. -ha. Dale Rowney. That's what this is. I'm trying to get it to show me some more. Doesn't want to. All right. So Dale Rowney, acrylic, water resistant artist inks and sets. I am guessing that that's, yep, yeah, FW acrylic. So that's what this is. So George asked the question. <clears throat> do you know what makes the ink acrylic here is from blick and i will link to this in the description below as soon as the stream is over so blick says and i'm sorry i'm not looking at you but it's on that monitor and i want to get you the correct information because i think that's important so it says fw artist ink is an acrylic based pigmented, water-resistant ink in a vast range of colors, all of which have either a three-star or a four-star rating for performance. Such a high degree of light fastness over such a range of fully intermixable colors that I'm excited about that. It makes them ideal for use by artists in the production of pictures for permanent display. Note, fluorescent colors are not light fast, which I think we, I think we know that, but I'm not going to assume that we all know that but fluorescent colors are not light fast. They are very fugitive. They will fade. So if you get neon anything, it's going to fade. Um, okay, that's it. Here we go. Use it. Play with it. Love it. Make prints of it. Whatever you want. Just know that they will fade. Um, okay, fluorescent colors are not light fast. Yes, colors can be substantially diluted to achieve the most subtle tones. Very similar in character to watercolor. Yay. I love, I'm loving watercolor right now. I'm loving water soluble media right now. And 
Okay, so very, very similar and characteristic to watercolor. Such washes will dry to a water resistant film and successive layers of color can be laid over them in highly predictable in a highly predictable manner. Uh, the FW Artist inks work well with dip pens, okay, um, technical pens, brushes. Select colors are available in both one ounce and six ounce sizes. The dropper from the one ounce size also fits the top of the six ounce bottle. And okay, so George, I don't know. <laughs> Excuse me, if that answered your question. I I hope that helped answer a little bit. And if not, let me know because I will find out more information and I'll just pop it in the comments after and I'll just pin it there so that everybody can see. <clears throat> so yes, let me know if that did or did not answer what you needed to know. Okay, so... Continuing on with the comments. Because I know I am behind. Not that kind of channel, Joseph. That's right. Not that kind of channel. All right. <laughs> he says this interview is over. All right. So we have titanium white. That one, I, I'm really in, can't wait to see how that one is. And... Oh, so Dylan asked, what do you have planned for the inks? I want to try something. So I knew, I knew that they were coming, <clears throat> that, excuse me, that they were going to be <clears throat> acrylic ink. And I said, I have got to look this up. Oh, I put an opaque one over here and it belongs over here. Okay. I've got to look these up. And see what, what can I do with them? I mean, I, I know with the ink, um, I've used liquid watercolor before. In fact, when I started doing watercolor, it was liquid watercolor that I was using. So I know that they do that. I even have a video on my channel, like how to use regular acrylics, like liquid watercolor. <clears throat> and I did the... Uh, It was like Monet's lilies, the water lilies, you know? So it is, you have to go back a little, you'd have to go back a little ways, but it's there. It is there if you haven't seen it. Um, and that was fun. Okay, so I'm seeing three, correct me if I'm wrong, Teresa, but I'm seeing three that look like they're the pearl type to be the shimmering green, the pearl uh, blue galaxy, and the pearl purple. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine colors that I'm seeing in the opaque. And two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven colors that I'm seeing in the regular acrylic ink. Wow. Wow. Teresa, thank you. Amazing. Oh, wait. Make that ten. Make that ten in the opaque because forgot I set gold aside. I forgot that I set gold aside. Okay. So I did that. What do we have planned for the acrylic inks? And these came, f okay, so see, Teresa says these came from Blick. But you can buy them open stock. I'm going to put a link to Blick below. Uh, well, there is a link to Blick already below just a generic link where you could just click on that and then type in Dale Rowney and FW uh, acrylic. It comes up. That's how I just went there to get George information. <clears throat> but yes, um, they are available open stock. She says, which is wonderful because I can tell you right now that if I absolutely love these as these um, bottles that Teresa sent me, Em I get empty, I will be throwing them one at a time back into my cart and getting them. So that's exciting. And you know what? I think, hold on a second. This was slated on, it came in. Nope, this is Hagen's. 
This is Higgins. So this one came in, you see this mess? I got that in an art box and it was like, I've never taken it out of the bag since the box came in. It says shake well. Mm, I don't know that I want to shake that anymore. Uh, I was just planning on, <coughs> I was going to open it, take some rubbing alcohol, clean the bottle up, then it would go into my stash, make sure it's squared away. But yeah, good thing it was shipped in the bag like that. And that's where it's sat ever since. Because it was a mess and I didn't want to deal with that mess. <clears throat> okay. What I would like to do, now that I've shaken those, I want to swatch them. Just kind of quickly swatch them. And so we can see the colors and you can get an idea of what those look like. So I'm going to make it go back to the desk. There we go. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Just, and I want to get caught up because I know that chat is like, it has gone by and I don't want to miss anything that anybody has said. So perhaps I should have just kept myself on the screen until we were done with that. I'm not sure what, what, see again, cause I'm, I need to be able to stay caught up a little bit better. So not sure what it was that was gorgeous, but thank you. Um, oh, the card. Cause I'm guessing, cause Ooh, that, that card is pretty said, um, Gypsy Art Crafts. So I figured it out. I'm guessing I figured it out. And then <clears throat> I'm, let's see. on the for the reflection see i'm way i'm way behind on the comments so my apologies that would be boop, right there with the reflection that was when we did brush out that was fun oh i've got more brush out i have more colors and teresa says I love the tree. I will buy a print. So Teresa, I believe you were talking about this one. Um, I will be scanning that assuming box corner of the scanner the scanner got here two days ago and I have not had, I was like, I'm not opening it until I know that I have everything squared away for you guys here today. Corners a little dented. I'm hoping there's plenty of packing in there. Not going to be a problem. All right. So I will definitely let you know, Teresa, when that is done and scanned, because I think I will be making that um, available uh, as a print because a few people have asked me about that. So, yes. Mm -hmm. oh, and hey, there we go. Mason, congratulations, Mason. That was eight. I was so I'm very proud of him. Very proud of him. Okay, so I know that I've already missed you taking off, but uh, time to run, have a movie and a dinner date with the hubby and the kids. And uh, yes, welcome home, Jared. Uh, behave now and watch, you'll watch the replay later. Thank you. All right, we will have a wonderful rest of the stream. And of course, off also, it just clicked, I don't know why it did that. I, I clicked on the one above you, but somehow it clicked on you, Tara, sorry. So yes, welcome home, Jared, if you, you know, are watching the replay and I hope you guys have a great evening. All right. That's Ashley leaving. Okay, Clark. I see I'm seeing the at Clark in the beginning and trying to do it that way. Um, so long as you don't see a bunch of different colors. Okay. <clears throat> I'm assuming that was like with me shaking them. And I asked if you had used them. You said you have swatched them, but really haven't gotten to use them. And uh, that's tomorrow. Okay, great. Oh, you're, yeah, and your husband was home till Sunday. Yes. Okay. All right. You lay yours horizontal. Yeah, and I know you're talking about the, the markers there, Jamie. So Jamie says she lays them horizontal. Yeah, see, I thought about that. And I really think that, yep. Again, same thing, Teresa. Yes, that's... I was just like, I don't really want that. They give you a stand, which makes no sense if they are supposed to lay on their side because the stand wants them to be standing. <clears throat> I don't know. 
Not going to worry about it. I will go ahead and make them be standing. I mean, laying down. <sighs> um, it'll be fascinating. It will be fascinating to see if they are similar to the million watercolor markers I have here. Excellent. And Joseph says, I fully agree. 72 colors, or if they mix well, 5,184. Is that, is that math accurate? Are you, we sure? Oh yes. Much better. All the morning rituals are done. Okay. Now we can gear up. All right. Just gearing up. She's getting her best troll on. Uh, reminder. Can you, oh, thank you, hobby artist. Okay. So reminder, can you swatch the Daniel Smith watercolor sticks? <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to do, <clears throat> I have a video planned um, that's going to cover the Daniel Smith watercolor sticks in more depth. But for today, since I only have three of them, yes, I will try to swatch them. They're sitting right there in front of me now. So right there so that we can remember to do that. All right. And... Marker store on their sides to keep both tips moist with ink. See, yes, that's what I, that's what I thought. And I'm like, but why are you sending me a stand that they can stand up in? Yet, if you put that stand on its side, they want to fall out of. So what I think I'm going to do is when I put them in there, I'm going to like just prop the front of the stand slightly because then it'll be an angle and then they won't want to fall out. That's what I, that's what I think I'm going to do. All right. And Teresa says... What makes them acrylic is the polymer binders. Thank you. And same acrylic binder in acrylic paint. Um, just more flow medium. Perfect. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Ah, see, he says yes. 72 by 72 is 5,184. Different color combinations. All right. And then, for whatever reason, is that there? That's there. Okay, so I hammered him. I hammered him myself. All right. I have bought, I have banned the bot. Um, Hammer. Polymer is plastic. Okay. Oh, great suggestion. D Lynn says maybe use a makeup wedge underneath the markers to keep them at the angle. Yes. Excellent uh, suggestion. Okay. We are caught up with chat. By the looks, we are <clears throat> caught up with the chat. The hammer came down. Yes. It may have been my hammer, but I swung it. Swung it hard. Um, okay. I'm going to do real quick just because I don't want to run out of time. And I know I'm not going to let myself run out of time if I do them now. So you wanted to see the three Daniel Smith. <clears throat> I need to get a drink. So my throat is getting so dry. That means I am talking to you too much. And not showing you enough. So don't come at me in the chat. Don't come at me. I'm trying. Mm -hmm. But this is a live art chat. So you have to chat. So yeah. It's fine. All right. So again, I got these in. I ordered the case <clears throat> to store them in. There are two more in my cart waiting to check out that will fill this case. Um, and they are specifically for the video that I want to bring you on these, but let's look at, <coughs> wow. I'm going to write their colors down and I will put a black line on here. <coughs> and then I'm going to put some color first. I'm going to put some color directly to the paper so you can see. And then 
I will just wet the end of the stick as if it were my half pan and put it on here. Because eventually what I'm doing is I'm actually going to take a chunk of this off, stick it in a half pan, but I'm not going to do that today. In the interest of time, not today. But I will show you once it is done and it happens. All right. This is the phthalo green. So this is the Daniel Smith. sticks. All right. These are the watercolor sticks. Make sure that's on camera for you guys. And okay, guys, are you ready for this? We're just going to zoom you in here for a minute so you can really see. And we'll get you set. How's that? How's that? All right. We have, this is phthalo green. yellow. It's yellow shade. Then we've got the rich green gold. And last but not least, <clears throat> is the lunar black, which I've mentioned this before. But for those of you who don't know, oop, wait a minute, black lines. Okay. I believe I told you the pigment numbers and everything when I shared them <clears throat> the other day. Last week. Anyways, but Lunar Black is PBK 11. PBK 11, for those of you who are not sure, let's show, can I get that to focus for you guys? Come on. There we go. Okay. So Mars Black. Lunar Black is Mars Black. PBK 11. There we go. So if you have PBK 11, Mars Black, and another watercolor, do you need this one? I don't know. Only you can only you can decide that. But I just want you to know that that's what it is. And we have Cat's Art Picks. Hello. Glad you are here. Okay. So I'm going to start with, let me keep this up here where you can see it. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> I'm going to start. I should be starting with the phthalo green because, you know, guys, I would like put my hands in it. All right. Starting with the phthalo green, and this is yellow shade. So this is not phthalo green blue shade that you would use to make phthalo turquoise. This one's different. It's phthalo green yellow shade. I didn't already have this on my collection, which is why I got the stick. Okay. Also, once more, if I can get it to focus for you. Come on. Pop it in there. There we go. Uh, pigment is pigment green PG36. Okay. So PG36 is thalocyanine green or thalo green yellow shade. Okay. <clears throat> now, if you are interested in the Daniel Smith watercolor six, I didn't link these below because I wasn't thinking I was going to show them today, but I will pop a link in right after the stream. If you are um, interested in these, Daniel, Daniel Smith claims that one of these sticks, you can fill three three full pans. So if I can fill three full pans, right? Six half pans. Um, if you guys know how much a half pan is far as cost or how much say a 15 ml tube is and how many half pans a 15 ml tube will hold, the price point on these 
I can't say exact price. Well, I'm not supposed to say exact prices because I am an affiliate and prices can change. And if I am advertising something that then cannot be held up. Okay. So disclaimers there, but I can tell you that at a price point, less than $10, pretty much across the board. This might be worth trying, which is why I got them. I want to know. We're going to find out. So phthalo green, yellow shade. They say you can go straight to paper with it. So we're going to do that first. And we're going to come in here and I'm just going to put down some color right here. This is my phthalo green, yellow shade. I will tell you that while trying to lay color down, they are, they're firm. They're not soft like any kind of pastel, um, yeah, they are firm. It's almost like, wow, it's almost like if I was, uh, and I know you can sharpen these. So you can sharpen these, say, obviously save the shavings. That's all watercolor paint, all of it. But you can sharpen these to a point like a crayon. I do have the Neo Color 2s by Karen Dosh. This is harder than what those are. This is harder. So we'll start off by laying down some pigment. I just want to make sure that I have plenty of pigment down here. <clears throat> I'm going to go the opposite direction. There we go. Okay. All right. Then I'm going to end up going the other way. Now, one second. Excuse me. <laughs> Sneezes. All right. I'm going to grab a watercolor brush. And the, um, it's not this one. It's the other one. I'm not using, normally, you guys know my silver black velvets are my absolute favorite. Um, but today, because I knew some of this was acrylic, some of it was liquid charcoal. I was like, I'm not, I'm not getting out my, my watercolor brushes are only watercolor, my silver black velvet brushes. Um, but I am still looking for more brushes for you. So before we just go diving in and putting that on there, can I just say these are two from Artspace. I got these two brushes right here. So those right there, they came in one of my subscri subscription boxes. I will have already shown you, it's in a past video, where these came from. Can I just say that <clears throat> we are overhead. Um, will it be, it'd probably be easier this way. Do you see the wobble in the ferrule? Can you see it right there? I mean, I don't, I don't have to move hard. It's, you can, you hear it? So when the crimp is poor and loose on the ferrule, it makes me crazy. It makes me crazy. And absolutely is why I, if I get a brush like this, it's a hard, I do not recommend. So let me just show you something really quick because that, well, this one came. Yeah. See cat's art picks. I agree. Like I absolutely agree. I would return that brush. This, they came in an art box. So it's kind of like luck of the draw there. However, let me just share with you guys, because <clears throat> I have been, I've told you I'm on a quest because some of you have mentioned that you would love to try the silver black velvet brushes, but that they, that cost, cost and availability is an issue. And I said, you know what? I'm going to try to find a brush that I can recommend to you guys that maybe, maybe it's not exactly like them, but maybe it's really close. And so that has kind of been my little side quest here. And I brought you the, <clears throat> excuse me. I brought you the Artify brushes, the Artify, Ar Artify brushes, which is, there we go. Boom. All right. Um, so the reason I grabbed this one was because the brush that people are looking for is, you know, a cat's tongue. They want a decent cat's tongue that holds a good point for watercolor. My silver black velvet is absolutely becoming one of my favorites, 
but I know it's an expensive brush, so I wanted to find some. Okay. I've shared these with you, but I have to tell you that right now I have reached out to Artify. I have not heard back from Artify yet. I will be updating you as soon as I do, because before I render my final what's what, I am giving Artify a chance to give me some feedback and help me out with this because a couple things again again here is a brush and that crimp also you can hear it i don't know if you guys i don't know if the mic i don't know if the mic's picking that up but yeah they're like if i put this here can you see better just so I can do it over them. It's very, you, you see, and I don't have to, I really don't have to move this very much. I barely, look, okay, so there. The bristles, you see, they have a great snap to them. These bristles, like, I, I don't know if you're picking, but they have a great snap. They hold water really decent. If the brushes are going to come crimped like this, or let me go one better because I sent them the email about all about this. So there's a few brushes in this set that had a poor crimp. And I was like, well, you know, that can happen. It can happen. This one has it. Yeah, you really see it there. This one has it. You see how loose that, like, no, no. No, I'm not fighting my brush. I shouldn't have to fight my brush. And the other thing is, do you see this brush? I don't know. You see, three quarter inch cat's tongue. Guys, this is not supposed to be a three quarter inch cat's tongue. It's supposed to be a one inch flat wash. This is 0 0.70 inches. I measured it with the caliper, 0 0.70 inches. Not even an inch, not even three quarters of an inch, close to three quarters, but not. And it's definitely not a cat's tongue. So basically has the wrong handle on it, wrong size brush on top. The set doesn't even come with a three quarter inch wash. So you tell me what happened. Well, I emailed, I emailed Artify, told him I was putting it out on my channel. <clears throat> I had been showing you guys and that um, before I render my final decision, I want to know what they have to say about this because these are going back. So these are hands down. That's being returned. Um, in fact, it's being returned tomorrow. I just wanted to make sure that I could show that stuff to you guys first. Now, if Artify reaches out to me and they want to send me a different set of brushes, I would be more than happy to share them with you and show you all all about them. <clears throat> But when it comes to, if I have to base my review on that particular set of brushes, it's a set of brushes that I probably would have said, this might be a set for you guys to try. And, and seriously, I mean, they were not, they are not silver black velvet quality. Please don't, I don't want you to think that, but they're not horrible either. So just so that you're, until I hear back from them and if they send me a set, because if they don't and I don't hear back from them, then I absolutely do not recommend. So do not recommend. Um, if they send me new ones, I would be more than happy to try them. Okay, so here are some other brushes. Now, I had something in my tooth or something. Sorry, rudeness. Okay, so this set of brushes, I saw these advertised and I thought, you know what? Why not? I'll just, I'll just try them. It was not very expensive. Again, could it be the diamond in the rough? I don't know. And um, so for this, I said, again, they showed the picture of this one here. And I was like, oh, cat's tongue. Okay. In the picture on the um, description. 
online. This brush looks like it's almost the size of this brush. It's not. There it is. You see it, folks, right there. That is their one half inch um, cat's tongue. But again, I was like, oh, well, wait, if the other set has a has a three quarter inch cat's tongue, this is a half inch cat's tongue. If they work, that would be wonderful. I can tell you I have not even gotten these wet. These are absolutely going back. And I just have to say, like, mm, they were a no, I, I'm not recommending. Um, because again, it was, well, let me just show you. See, they're still like taped together. I'm going to show them to you, but, but they are going back. So this, again, very, it's, it is loose and it's feral. And I'm just like, you see that right there? I'm like this thing's going to fall off. If you get a paintbrush like this, do not keep it. Return it. Because one, you're paying money and it's a brush like this, give it a little time, swelling and shrinking and it getting wet, this ferrule is going to come off. Can these be repaired? Maybe, but unless I've had my brush for a long time and I'm the one that caused that damage, I am not going through the hassle of, can I repair it and make it better? So, mustache art, I mustache you, not to come here again. Sorry, this is very corny. But anyhow, so no, I haven't even gotten these. These ones I haven't even got wet because I just instantly I picked it up and I'm like, the ferrule's loose. And then it does have, it does have a nice, um, their oval mop is decent size. They're ridiculously light in the hand. That was another reason. I was like, they feel so light. I can just see it. Don't leave that in water because I bet you that paint is and gone. Um, <clears throat> they don't feel. Th yeah, there's a, see this one too. This ferrule is very. I can turn it. Okay, look, guys. I can. It's loose. So, not going to be much for that to be gone. And then, yeah. So, no. These are, they're going to go back. I'm not, I'm at this point, I'm like, I just don't even want to know. How are they in water? I don't know. Um, I, I kind of got that, like, I'm not caring when I felt the quality. The brushes are so ridiculously light. So, and it says synthetic blue, synthetic blue squirrel hair, artist brush set, seven pieces. Nope. And again, I'm because I was trying to look for, I was like, well, it's great. It has, for watercolor, it's got a size 10 round. It has a six round. It has a zero. So like your rigger or liner. Then it has over here, we have a, um, a three aught, very fine detail, right? Real tiny. And we've got a half inch flat wash. We would have had the cat's tongue, a mop. I was like, this would be a perfect little watercolor set. And I, I don't want to even put them in water. So yeah, uh, let's see what they do. Cat's art pick says, let's see what they do. Are we talking about the Daniel Smith? Let me know. Is that what you're talking about? Because that's where I'm headed. I just wanted to make sure that I put out that public service announcement that if you are searching for water brushes and you see this set, highly do not recommend. This is the first, I think this is the first thing that I've ever come on the channel and said, don't buy this. And because, you know, if I don't know, I don't know where you are in your art journey. I don't, I'm not sure. And maybe that's in your price range and they would be great. But I'm telling you that they are very poor quality and I think they would just end up falling apart on you. And that's not going to help, help you enjoy creating art. So <clears throat> that's my two cents. You take it or you leave it. Uh, talking about the brushes, she says, um, let's see what they do. You want to see which ones, which one they're going back, but I don't mind showing you. Tell me which ones, Cora, which ones did you want to see? Um, the Artify? Because I've used the Artify before, but I'll use the Artify again. Um, 
And of course I haven't used, I have not, oops, I have not used the, this one at all, but I mean, I can, I can grab that. Cause I know the ones that people seem to be looking for is like the cat's tongue. I pulled out the cat's tongue in that one. <clears throat> it's a half inch, <clears throat> excuse me. And once again, I will pull out the cat's tongue, which is three quarter inch in the Artify. Okay. And there we go. We'll, we'll see what they do. Yeah. The Artify. They can't, um, all be that way. Are they? No. And that's just it. Well, no, not every brush in the Artify set. Um, the handle feels like it's much better made. And doesn't feel like it's going to, um, you know, have paint cracking and chipping. And this one absolutely does. It just absolutely feels like that's exactly what's going to happen. It's it's very, very light. Now, the Artify compared to holding, um, and I didn't even, I didn't even bring them to my desk because I was like, I am not using the silver black velvets today because we were going to be focusing on stuff. And I have a new, so back here, you'll see in the backdrop here, I have this set here and I'm going to be sharing these with you too. I have much higher hopes on these. So that's going to be next week when we're doing all the watercolor stuff. I'm going to use those for the blending. So I'll be able to bring you that and hopefully be able to tell you, hey, I think I might have something. So we have the Artify. This is the cat's tongue. Um, I can use the Artify brushes today if that's, if you'd like to see them in action more, I can. Not a problem. Because... I said if they were if they were decent as far as if these weren't you know with the ferrules and stuff like that being a problem and the one that's not the correct brush um you know i'd have no pro i would have no problem saying hey these are not and they are not like silver black velvet they're a bit stiffer um they definitely do have a snap though that is not bad at all and it might have been one that i could have you know recommended so let's look at the thalo green so thalo green yellow shade and I am just going to, so first I'm going to wet the paper to the right here. They seem to hold water decent. Um, in fact, let me see if I can get that to catch the, catch the lights overhead. It's not, I, I have to bounce light in here now. I can't just put it directly down. You see, there you go. You see the reflection. They hold decent water. Okay, here we go. You ready? So this is straight onto dry paper. <clears throat> and now we're going to see how we can, can we dissolve and move that? And is it going to leave these, you know, streakiness from marking it with the crayon or crayon stick? I say stick. It's not a crayon. It's a, it's a watercolor stick. It's basically like, holding your half pan in your hand. All right. So now I am seeing that some of those lines are kind of remaining. Will they move and how well would they move? All right. So that I wanted to see if it will, how it will travel. Will it travel spread out? So there you go. Thalo green yellow shade straight onto paper <clears throat> okay now this time i am going to put down the water i'm going to take the pigment from the stick and then we're going to put it on the paper so more like if we were doing it if we had it in a half pan okay there we go. And I just have three. So I'm just going to bring this little tiny palette over here. And we're just going to take some off the end. Just making sure my brush is good. And what? And Jamie says, I like to take my brush straight to the end of my Daniel Smith stick. And that is exactly what I'm doing right here to get this pigment 
All right, so there we go. I'm going to set, and you can see, is it going to want to pick that up? Probably not because it sees writing below me. Hold on. There we go. It's wet. You can see the colors a little bit lighter. Jamie says she also has uh, transferred some to a palette. I'm going to be transferring them to a palette. That is definitely, now I'm putting that stick back in its holder. And let's see. Oh, you know what? Just because I know how fast things are drying in this studio right now. So I'm going to lay down a little bit more water right here. And let's drop some of this pigment in. Look at that. I mean, that's not, it's not core, but it is taking off. All right. So there is, and it, and it actually is traveling up where it, I kind of touched the two. So. Okay. Now my water's nice and green. All right. Next one. Let's take. And I'm gonna back. I'm gonna back this off just a little bit here. There we go. There. <clears throat> All right. So the rich green gold. Again, I'm gonna go to the paper first. Okay. All right, so to the paper. And they are very, it's, they're very firm. So they're definitely very firm. But I will say too, when you do it straight to paper like this, um, I don't think this is going to be, I can tell you, this is not going to be my favorite way to use them. I won't use them like that because... Once this is done and it dries, I'll bring it back over um, at the end and show you. Ooh, look at that. Ugh, look at that color, the rich green gold. It just doesn't dissolve. It just does not. You still end up with streaks from. Yeah, you're still ending up with streaks from the, you know, initial laying it down on the paper. Like, can it, can we help it go? So for me, I'm going to be using them just as I would, uh, my other Daniel Smith that I have in pans. So we're going to go right to the, let me make sure I have plenty of water over here. Okay. We're going to go right to the tip of the stick, just like I did last time. So I just have my stick resting on the side of my little ceramic plate here and just like kind of scooping up on the stick to get that pigment in there. And there we go. Okay. And I'm just wiping off any excess water from the stick because I'm just going to set it back into the, um, just setting it right back into its case. Yes, it's damp, but, and I'll leave it open so they can dry, but that's fine. All right. And what I wanted to do was clean that off so I could put the water down here. I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. Okay. And here we go. Take some of this pigment. Oh, I dropped it in the top. It was very wet. My brush was dripping. So, yeah, it, I mean, it holds. The way that it holds the water, these brushes, these um, Artify, they hold, they hold the water. Um, they'll also drop the water as you just saw. This one's not, this one's not traveling as far as the other. And I don't know if I just didn't have as much water down or is this a heavier pigment and it wants to settle and not travel. So I don't know. I don't know. And you can see, cause it's going to settle here because the paper is kind of curved because it's wet now, but so far, 
these are all still, these are very translucent. But let's look at this guy. This guy should be PBK 11, Lunar Black. <clears throat> he, they would be, they would be great colors for, um, Jamie Eddy says, those would be great colors for a St. Patrick's Day piece. Your career. Yeah, I agree. Um, okay. So with the Lunar Black, and hopefully this will dry enough that I can leaf, lift, lift these up. So I can lift these up. Apparently, I, I can't speak. Um, but I can lift them up and show you guys. Because here we go. All right. So laying some of that down <clears throat> on there, <clears throat> just like the other two. I'm going to get my water. I'm using my little, my little scuttle, my little shaving scuttle pot today. I love that thing. All right, so trying to activate the pigment. And they do a lot. The, these brushes, I mean, they they have enough snap. They're they're stiff enough that they allow you to scrub a little bit. But no matter what you're doing, as far as scrubbing, it is not. It is not. Um, it's not dissolving at all. And this is a cellulose paper, so just just for what I'm working on. Happened to be what I just had I had sitting next to me that was cut up some little pieces of like the Canson that you see me use before for other other things. We'll see how that moves. Um, is there actually any green in that gold? Uh, <clears throat> Boom. So that one, if I can get that out now that I've set that back down in there. So that you know, I didn't show that one to you. That has, it starts, it's pigment yellow, 129. Pigment yellow, 129. So, and I'm not seeing any other I'm not seeing any other um, pigment information on there. And the good thing I can hold that up there now because not only what my glasses would help me see that. So what they are calling um, rich green gold, really that pigment, which does say, if you saw that there, it does say, it does say PY, which is oops, right there on that second line. PY 129. So that is a pigment yellow. But that is what that's what that one is. And they call it, Daniel Smith calls it rich green gold. So it does have like a greenish hue, but definitely, definitely yellows. Definitely yellows. All right, I want to see if we can see if this guy will give us some granulation also. Very loving granulation. Um, so I'm going to get this wet. Here we go. Let's get this one over here. All right. Pigment black. It's gonna, I don't want it to run into my, I can save it before it does. Cause I know it's gonna wanna run right down into this guy. So I hate to, I hate to waste the colors by wiping them up but I don't want the black to go into that one. And great information. So there we go. Um, Cat's Art Pick says, I just looked on Blake's website for those Daniel Smith sticks. The prices aren't bad. Nope, they are linked in the description below. So I did link up the, um, did I link the Daniel Smith sticks? I don't know if I did or not, but they will be when I'm done. But there is the link to Blake, of course. Uh, but they are very reasonably priced. When you consider how much you can do is if you want to put them in half pans or full pans or what have you. <clears throat> so also, Starving Artist Collective said, that rich green gold is a lush color. 
what pigment code is listed on the stick. So I hope that I did answer that. I did because I see you came back. Love that green. Maybe they said green gold because it looks green, the stick form. It could very well be. And Starving Artist Collective says that PY129 is the green gold, mission gold paints use as well. And that she has that. So excellent. Excellent. Um, Yeah, I... I just, I love it. I didn't have the color. I did not have the color in my two paints. So it's definitely not in my pan paints. Um, I have to place one more order for, I'm, I'm getting two more, two more sticks. Uh, one of which is going to be the Soda Light Genuine gorgeous color and I only have a 5 ml tube of that so I know that it's going to be wearing out soon and even though I have it already in the tube that I've put into the palette I am going to be getting a stick of the Daniel Smith moon glow <clears throat> and that is because I want to bring you a video and we are going to talk about let's see this black do its thing ready Yeah, so much more off this, you know, when you take it off the, it's, that's going to be gorgeous, so. Yep. And I'm just going to throw this in. I'm throwing all the extra pigment in because I want you to be able to see. Let's try to get a look and see how PBK11 granulates because it will granulate. It should. Okay. So there, I hope that helped. You wanted to see those. I uh, definitely would recommend taking the <clears throat> sticks and wetting them with a palette and then uh, making your watercolor from that and then putting it on your paper. Otherwise, you, and I will bring this back to the camera. Remind me, I'll show you. Um, after. So that we can see that because you'll get to see how. Set that on that cart right there. You're going to get to see how um, they dry and how when you put the stick right to paper, it just leaves that. You, you might want that texture. You could be looking for that, in which case it would be wonderful for you to try. Um, you know, so I'm not saying that it's a negative thing. Let me just put that up. I'm not saying it's a negative thing. I'm saying if you take the stick, go directly to paper, you're going to see the texture. You're going to see the marks. If that's what you're looking for, then that's perfect for you. Okay. There's that. I am going to put this palette. Oh, look at that. They just mixed. I tipped them. And so now we have a lush, very lush green. I bet that'd be gorgeous to paint out. The PBK11 and the PY129. Ugh, I bet that makes a really pretty color. So, wow. Okay, our time is crazy. All right. It's all right. Because this is not going to take very long, I'm going to... Um, you think so? All right. So just re-wetting the Shaminka liquid charcoal. There we go. <clears throat> And I'm going to show you these, but I wanted to show you something. I had an idea. I had an idea for, and I said, you know what? I'm going to try it. So I have seen Ashley use these, and Ashley's the one who sent them to me. And we have the Schmincke, so we have the grapeseed, 
we have the cherry pit and we have the peach stone. So I'm going to list them for you. So this is going to be grape seed. Grape seed. And then we have cherry pit. And peach stone. Okay. Now, <clears throat> for these colors, I thought, you know what? I haven't used the liquid charcoal yet, and I'm going to use it more. In fact, I have these colors right here that, again, I received in an art box that we haven't used yet, but these say gray, yellow, and blue. I haven't used them yet, but I'm going to do a video. I would like to compare these to these. And this one, the brand here is... It's really hard to see that one. I'm going to bring it right up to you. There we go. Dervin. Okay. So that's, that's the brand. Liquid pencil. Liquid pencil. So I have to assume this is like liquid graphite. So not the same. These are liquid charcoal. This would be liquid graphite. What's the difference? What's it going to look like? I'm going to try it. We're going to do that. Even if I do a quick little video and just throw that up on the channel so that you guys can see it. That's going to be, <clears throat> excuse me, no idea. So I wanted to see, we're so into, I am so into granulating watercolor and I'm going to switch this up now. I'm going to move my little, my shaving scuttle is dirty from the Daniel Smith stuff. I forgot to bring my big one that I can flush, but just so that everybody, you know, has the chance to see them. There it is. Um, okay, let me grab this. I'm just switching it out for my, you see, I have a paint puck in there. I always have a paint puck in there. There we go. All right. So. Maybe I'll use, maybe we'll try out the um, wonky little half inch cat's tongue. Why not? It's still going back. It is definitely going back. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, hobby artist. Watercolor six were interesting. Looking forward to more in depth video you do on them. Yeah, we are going to dive deeper on those. That was just the real quick, let's look and see what happens. So we are definitely going to be doing more with those in the near future. Okay. All right. That brush is wet, but even though this brush is wet, I am, you're going to see me now. I just wanted to get all the sizing because it's, you know, a brand new brush. So get the sizing out. And now I'm just going to cover this. Okay, D Lynn, it's time for you to head out. Right, live stream. So many nice things to see. Thanks for sharing. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. Okay. And if we don't get to play with all of these today because I end up having to go, we will do it. I will continue that. So for sure, for sure. So this is what I have today. I grabbed, and I did link this below. It's not going to want to focus on me. Please focus on me. There we go. So the Winsor Newton granulation medium. <clears throat> Have you ever used it with liquid charcoal? I was like, I haven't used it. I haven't used it. I haven't used it at all. I got it because somebody showed the world an entire collection of Schmincke heavily granulating colors that I fell in love with. And I was like, oh, I can't get all those colors. But you know what? I do have some colors that I really like. And I wonder, how is that granulation medium? So I got some. And it tells you, it tells you, and I'm going to grab and moving my butcher's tray because I just have like my butcher's palette here. 
for using the other stuff, but I just grabbed my little ceramic plate. You guys have seen me use this many times before. And now it will say that with the granulation medium, it says for best results, you are going to want to put the granulation medium so that you know what you're, what you're mixing is like not so much water, but granulation medium. You're going to get the best results that way. So this is what we're going to do. First, I'm just going to give you a swatch of the color. This is what it looks like. Okay. So let's do that first. And we're going to have grape seed and I will, I will go in. I will, oh, these are, they, they're, looks like it's re-wetting quite well. Um, all right. You ready? So grape, this is grape seed and we're going to do it up here. So this is the grape seed. I'm just going to really lay that pigment in there and get that going. I wonder if the side cam is going to show this to you better. Let's check it out. Let us check it out. So just going to move these out of my way. And since I have shown you guys the core and I have linked to the video where I did that. I'm not going to worry about the core today. I do want to look at some of these acrylic um, inks because I, I, I really want to, I have an idea that I want to show you and I don't know if you guys have seen it before. So yep, yeah, I'm going to rinse this off in my dirty water and then I'm going to come back over here to my clean water, grab a little bit <clears throat> and just work myself across and into that wash and let's see how they travel. There they go. Wow. I'm just going to drop a little bit more right from the pan into there because I want to see this end nice and dark and I just want to see kind of where it goes. Okay grapeseed. Then, then, yeah, and there's plenty for it to keep going. Now we're going to do it this way. You ready? I'm going to <clears throat> take my brush and I'm like, where can I get it so you can see it? Okay. So I'm just blotting out the water. Okay. If I, I don't want to squeeze too much. If I had a cotton right like a t-shirt, I would do it I just kind of squeeze. I just want to get the water out because now I'm going to take my little bit of my granulation medium and I'm going to put some on my, on my, actually, I'm going to pour some, a little container. Do I have it? Yes, I do. Okay. I have a little teeny tiny container here. I just don't want to contaminate anything in the bottle, of course. So I'm going to put just a little bit in there. Okay. So now we have some granulation medium which is the winter noon. We're going to take that and that's what I'm going to use to wet my paper with. So right underneath here with the grape seed, I'm going to come in and we are going to wet that. And bye-bye. Okay. So I'm going to wet the area with the granulation medium. Getting it wet. Now, right from our pan, I'm just going to drop it right in. And we will see, how does it differ? How is it going to differ from the water? I don't know, but I thought, you know, I, how much fun would it be to find out? We all know how inquiring my mind is. I want to know. I'm like, it's not, so with the granulation medium, you see, it's not, it didn't take off. It definitely did not take off like the water did. The water just took off. The granulation medium is kind of sitting here. So let's just, we'll wait and see what it does. Okay. <clears throat> Isaiah Larry says, yo, yo, Isaiah Larry. Okay. So now going back to water. So for the cherry pit, we're going to do the water. Lay that water down. There we are. And coming into the cherry pit, 
which you guys can't see so well. Let me turn. You're still not seeing that. I don't need the pan right now. So there we go. So the cherry pit, which is our center one. Okay. I don't know how you guys are liking the whole new side one, but you let me know. Please give me, please. The feedback is always very helpful. Okay. So cherry pit, because that's the one that I'm looking at. It will be changing up as well. Uh, right there. Okay. So we're going to drop that in. And look at that. Okay. Now that dried a little bit. So I will come back with a little bit more water just to, cause I know it's going to take off like that. Or I, I, I assume I shouldn't assume we should not assume. Okay. Get that water down and then we're just going to make that connection. So, <clears throat> I'm just coming with just a little bit more. Just as I want to see, will it, will it move? And it may not. It may not move. It may be heavier than the grape seed. So it might not. Haha. <laughs> You think so? You think so, Starving? Well, from your words, uh, for your, from your, from your lips, rather. Okay, so next, next one is going to be granulation medium again. Okay, so just the granulation medium. We're going to lay that down. And there we go. Lay that down. And now coming into the cherry pit again, because we're going to take that neat and just drop it in. So neat. Um, anybody who's not familiar with watercolors, if I'm taking it neat, I'm taking it right from the pan. I'm not diluting it with anything else, taking it right from the pan and then going into um, where I have my the wet paper. Okay. At least that is my understanding of the use of it. So again, you know. Don't come at me if I'm, if that's not what you've heard or you've learned, but I would absolutely welcome, you know, a discussion about it because I love to learn and I think there's a way of sharing information, especially if someone has misinformation without, you know, being nasty about it. So just saying. Joseph says, I have to keep hitting the live button to catch up. And every time I do, the hammer has been swung. Oh, sorry. I've been swinging. I, if I see him, I'm swinging. It's easier. I will say that I'm so far, I'm loving Ecamm. I hope you guys are really enjoying um, the new the new look, uh, the new backdrop. That took some time. Now, now you know why. I have not had an edited video for you guys since, well, it was since December. I mean, there are other reasons I had, um, I had some health issues in, in January that I'm, I won't get into, but that kept me, that kept me away and that's okay. Then I was also trying to, uh, you know, do my beginning of the year. Let's see what we can do in the studio. And I already knew I wanted something fresh. I wanted a different backdrop. And so here we are. I want to get for up here. Oh, I would love to get a um, Clark Fine Art done like the round logo and put that on that side. So I'm considering it, considering it for that area. Uh, or, or I can put a painting. I can switch out. So that brown shelf above me actually has a groove. And I'm going to go into the peach stone now, the peach stone and place that into our wet wash. Here we go. Like, am I getting it where, the, yes. I was just like, am I getting it where the wash was? It's getting later, so my lighting is changing.
Look at that. I love what you guys know. I love when watercolor just kind of explodes and this being the charcoal. Mm, I love it. Love it. Look at it's already got some granulation on its own, but let's not stop there. Let's throw it in some granulation medium and see if it becomes stronger because I got to tell you, uh, that grape seed is so far. I have to see this one. I have to see this one first, but that grape seed I think might end up being my favorite in that granulation medium. That is looking amazing. So here we go. Granulation medium again, cause I'm in the little container and this is by Windsor Newton. And so I'm not using water. I'm coming to the paper with just the granulation medium. Okay. So granulation medium on the paper. Now we're going to grab that peach stone. And we're going to drop it in. Now I will say though that this, this brush, this brush is quite firm. But I find that the tip of it, the tip of it is, um, it, I can't get it as pointy. Like, of course, on my silver black velvet brush, I can get like the finest point. And this one is, it's kind of, um, well, I'll show you in a second. I'll show you in just a second. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Thank you both for sharing the information because again, I would definitely like to know. All right. I'm just holding this down because it's kind of arced and I don't want it to roll down, which my hands in there is more darkening things up in the studio, but I'll fix it in a second. I will fix it in a second. I'm going to mute you for one moment because I'm going to see if I have her if I speak to my device, and I don't want to trigger any of yours, if she will turn up a light for me and see if that helps just a little bit. One second. Okay. As long as we don't have any, oh my gosh, could you imagine if I just put that, that's full on 100% in the studio now. If I could have that light on and it not wash out the stream, you know, be overexposed. Oh, that would be a dream. Okay. So this one is setting. Look at the, can you guys see it? I'm gonna go overhead. Let's see how the overhead looks. Cause that's where it's going to be. Wow. <laughs> it's still working. Look, look at the, can you see some of the granulation in that cherry pit? Can you see that down in that peach stone? I'm going to set these aside. So this is the uh, Schmincke coal. It is the liquid charcoal by, by Schmincke. I, it, there is a link in the description below. <clears throat> I'm excited about that. I definitely, I'm going to set them right back here to dry behind me. I will try to show you that again at the end if that is dry. All right, so saving the granulation medium, capping this one so that I don't spill it. And I actually have little tiny containers that I can take if there was some of this left over um, today. I could just put it right in it, keep using it, never contaminating my main bottle. So there you go. Thank you so much, Ashley. I can't, w can you imagine what we could do with those? Like, yeah, I could see the, um, do a, uh, well, you want to see something fun? It's 520. It's whatever. It's fine. I'm fine. If you're fine, I'm fine. Um, oh, what I was, oh, see now, see that? Mm-hmm. Let's look at that. So there, you see the hair right there, which just come out of this brush. So again, okay, maybe one, maybe that was one. That's all you get. So it holds as far as the point goes, that point is right there. It looks all right. But before it was getting pretty thick. So these are the ones I said, really 
super lightweight and yeah. yeah. All right, I'm going to do something. I want to show you guys something. I'm going to grab. <clears throat> this is just a one inch snap by Princeton. And I have two of these brushes, actually. This one, I have two short handled. I have two that are identical. So this one I usually use um, with acrylic. And you see like, yeah, it still has some acrylic paint on the handle. You see how they're splayed? And let me show you the difference. This is really important. This is why we use our acrylic brushes in acrylic and our watercolor brushes in watercolor. And I think that everybody who's actually here live right now absolutely is going to know this. But just in case somebody watching the replay doesn't, I want to share this with you. <clears throat> okay. So I said I have two of these brushes. I just have to like kind of inch myself back over. Sorry if I shake you. Sorry if I bump anything. And we're calm. Okay. <laughs> so identical brushes. This is a Princeton one inch. You see it right there. Right? Princeton one inch snap. It's a stroke right there. Same brush. This brush, <clears throat> excuse me, has seen acrylic paint. This brush has not. Do you see the difference? Yeah. And I do clean my, well, not the handle. The handle didn't get cleaned so well. But I do clean my brushes. Yes, there's some staining from some of the acrylic paint that I used. And you see they're staining like even up to here. <coughs> Excuse me. But in that brush, um, there's not, you're not seeing was she focused? Come on. There we go. You're not seeing paint going up into there. Um, <clears throat> Teresa. Oh, okay. Teresa says that she has to go and that she will catch the rest in the replay. Teresa, tomorrow, <coughs> excuse me, tomorrow during the Patreon live chat because Teresa is a patron of mine. Um, and she sent me these beautiful things to try. Um, tomorrow while we are live, I will definitely be showing you or doing some more stuff with them and, you know, I'll finish today. But if I don't get to finish enough, maybe we come back and we just look at these and we just do a whole big thing on these. And so if that's something that interests you guys, please drop me a comment. Do you want to see? Because I've got some crazy ideas of things that I want to show you with these um, acrylic inks. So let me know. Let me know in the comments. Uh, thank you so much again, Teresa. I will see you tomorrow in the patron live chat. And for anyone who's interested, that is, it's just $3 a month at that uh, to get to the Discord server and just hang out. That's like buying me a cup of coffee and I think if you buy me a cup of coffee, you should be able to hang out and chat with me. So every Friday at 1030 a.m. Eastern time, we have a live chat and chat about all kinds of things, artsy and otherwise. And yeah. So if something that interests you, check it out. And I'm not sure if Joseph has that link. Of course, it is linked in the description below, but it would be patreon.com. Do they have forward slash Clark fine art or is there something in the middle there? I don't know if there's something in the middle, but it's linked in the description and I would love to have you. I'm getting ready to expand and change up some of the things for my patrons um, to bring them more, more stuff, especially now that I am, you see the studio, you, I've, I'm back and I am feel, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good about being back, but I want to just show you a really quick, you're not going to be able to see this. We're going going overhead. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put you on both. <coughs> Excuse me. And let's switch that up. Okay. So overhead side cam, cause I can do it this way. Yep. I can do it this way. All right. So yeah, hopefully I'll see Teresa tomorrow in the live chat and I'll share some with patrons. Okay. Here we go. 
Are you ready for this? This is, I'm just thinking that this would lend itself quite well. So I'm seeing kind of a cool, a neutral, and a warm is how I'm seeing it. And I want to go like this. I'm going to mix up. First, we're going to start with the cool because, of course, our cool colors will be so far back. Ready? So I'm going to take right here on my little plate. And I need to dilute this. I need for this to be light. This is, this is a ways away. Okay, ready? I want this to be light. I also do not want my brush now to be loaded. My paper, you just saw me wet my paper. So the way that I do this, we're doing like a quick little, this is almost like when I do a watercolor. <clears throat> just a really, real quick, real fast. Okay, bye, Jamie. Thank you. Thank you for hanging out. And I have a feeling, guys, if a lot of you have to go, I'm going to show you this one. And I'm going to come back and we're going to do these. I, I don't want to rush it. I don't want anybody to miss out on it. And that'll let me gra grab even more information for you and really come back and do, because I have some, I have some supplies that I want to show you how to use with those. And yeah, that's what we're going to do. Even if I have to push the watercolor ones one more week, I would push the watercolor markers one more week or or hey wouldn't that be great do an edited video I've been I have been missing them so much okay so I don't want my brush to be overloaded I'm just tap it I'll just tap so I've got the color in the tip and I'll just tap at the base and that's going to suck out some of the extra water but leave what's pigmented in there okay yeah yeah, George, I'm not, we're not going to go much longer. I am going to, because I have to go to dinner too. So I'm grabbing some of this color and then let me just make sure, make sure, because again, stuff dries so quickly in my studio and this does need to be wet. This needs to be wet in wet when we do this. So I have wet both sides of my, and I just saw a little red there. I must've had a brush O crystal on the desk blotter there. I thought I cleaned all that off, but okay, you ready? Let's think about spontaneous, like a spontaneous landscape. And we are going to have some, and I always start whenever I do, and I'm going to do a tree, like for a landscape. Normally I would have this taped down, but I will start at the bottom because when I do that, if it heavy loads the pigment, it's going to happen at the bottom, right? So I can just come in here, like it's the bottom, it's the bottom, and I'm going to have a go, oh, I don't know, maybe, maybe about there. So now I can just, and distant trees, guys, distant trees are blurry. They will paint themselves. Just get the shapes. Just get the general, like, and you see me, I'm just trying to just maybe some little lines here. I'll come back and adjust. Right? Boom, boom, boom. So, so this, this for me, I and I hate to say it's so simple because you know what? What's simple for me? may be very daunting for somebody else. And so I never like to say, oh, it's just so easy because again, something can be easy for me, but that doesn't mean it's easy for everybody. So now you see the lines that I have. Let me bring you in just a little tighter on that shot. Okay, and I can see, see I've added something on the right side of my desk, not that shot. You don't want that one. One second, sorry guys, I grabbed the wrong one. Okay, let me bring you in a little closer. And I will adjust so that you can see. Oop, sorry, didn't mean to move you so quickly. All right. So you see where there's the lines here. So I will, and I hope that you, I hope you guys are liking that feature. I am loving the ability to be able to just kind of grab you and bring you in. And did you see how easy that, again, I don't like to use the word easy because I understand this is not easy for everyone. So I'm just going to tap. I'm just tapping a little left and right, a little left and right. Okay, here and there. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. I don't have to worry about this. These are like way back. These are my way back trees, right? And then I'm going to come in. I'm going to grab some fresh water. Boom. And I'm just going to go at the very base and run that along. Boom. Pull that back. Because wherever I stop, that's where I'm going to leave that deposited. Okay. And I want this to be able to mingle. 
right? It's going to be like it's foggy. And I have a little extra on my brush. I'll just kind of mix it around. I don't even mind if I bring it down too low. Boom, right there. Done. That one's done. Next, I go, I don't mess with this. This mixture here already has what I, this is this. And now I want this to be darker. So now what we do is we always start with our thinnest mixture. So now I'm going to come in with the um, grapeseed. And we'll just go monochromatic. I, I could have stepped it up and been like, oh, we'll do the warm and the neutral in the middle. And that no, in the interest of time. All right. So I'm, I've added a little bit more and it might have been a little too much. So we're just going to a little bit more in. So next, while this is still wet, because this may be drying, but remember, this is still wet. I just did it. I did it with the pigment. So I'm going to take the water and I could be doing this with granulation medium also. And you guys aren't seeing me. Um, you're not seeing me. You're seeing the side view over there. But let's go this way. I can still pull you in. I will pull you in closer. Closer. And we will shift you over. Okay. How's that? So that you guys can see. Okay. So I'm going to take that water. Ready? And I'm just going to pull that through again. Here's the bottom of where I was doing the other. So I don't mind if it touches, it's just going to pull more down in and it's going to add and it's going to look like foggy. Here we go. I'm going to take my next one. All right. Get that on my brush. Again, I do not want too much. So I'm just tapping that on my palette. You see there, I'm tapping, letting some of that extra come to the tip. There we go just want a little bit. There's plenty of water here and we want this light. So now I'm gonna come from this side. And again, I'll start at the bottom of where I'm gonna want a tree. And we're gonna kind of stagger these. We're gonna kind of stagger it through. So at the bottom, I was gonna say a bottom, I want a bottom about here. And I'm gonna stagger through, maybe I'm gonna come this way. Okay, perfect. Here we go. I want some trees. These are gonna be, you know, just slightly more, they're closer to us, so they're a little darker. Right. We have this stand of trees and I can just literally, guys, don't be precious. We are playing, we're exploring, we're trying to see what they can do. Nothing has to be precious about this. And then I'm just going to come back in and tap just like you saw me do before. Boom. Right. Some here, some there. Do you see how this is just like literal? The brain is going to go, it's a stand of trees. I got it. It's a stand of trees. Right? It's back in the distance. This is these are way back. These are the way back trees. We do not have to be. We aren't going for photorealism. We aren't going we're going for foggy distant trees. Right? So you see, I'm just tapping in. I have not gone back for any other pigment for my brush. Right? Let's pop this in. And there we go. I'm going to do one more and real quick, and then I'm going to show you. So now that I get to the bottom, at this point, I want these to fade and get misty. So I am going to come in. I got the water, right? And you can't see my water cup. Let me see if I bring this over here, because I do want you to see when I come out, I am just pulling that off. And then I'm just going to come in here just below it, and I'm going to run that through, and then I'm going to come up so that they touch. And just kind of let that, and I'm always pulling, my last one is always pulling backwards so that my darkest colors are going to be back here where I started. Okay. And this will, there's enough water here. It's going to mix and it's going to mingle. If I wanted to bring some more down, I could, I can work the rest of my brush out. Doesn't matter. Just play. Just experiment. Have fun. Okay. So here we go. Put this down in here. Okay. So we have more water. Now, this needs to be darker again. So not going back to my water, going to my pan, into that grape seed. This is soft. I'm getting this quite neat. This is going to really darken it up this time. And I'm going to add that in. 
you see I'm adding more of the neat paint. I'm not adding more water on my palette either. It's just gonna be whatever water was in this brush from doing my final pull through when I came back. So that's what we've got. We've got water on the paper. So it's gonna mix with that. I need to darken my color up some. And again, this is still not as dark as it would be if it was neat. Neat being just the wet pan, I'm taking it from there. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna start this side again. So here, I'm gonna come in. Again, lower than I want the tops of my trees to be because stuff will move. And if it moves down, not a problem. If it moves up, you could have too much paint and you could end up with too much paint too high. It's a whole thing. So I start at the bottom. Okay, this is about where I'm gonna want my trees to be. Now I can either take this and flick them up. Okay, that's another way I could do. I want different sizes. These are gonna be the trees that we're starting to be able to make out, right? Just all kinds of varying sizes. Boom, boom, boom. And you don't have to do the lines. You could do them individually, right? I could have just done each tree individually. So here, I'm gonna make this one maybe a little taller. And I'm just going to now start to think about, for me, evergreens, right? Evergreens all over here. Some will have, some will get really wonky. This brush is too big. This is that one, um, that tip is just getting too big. It doesn't wanna stay with a nice sharp point. So if this was my silver black velvet, I'd have no problem doing this because that tip does not, it, it holds. And all I have is that very pointed tip on the end of that brush. So yeah, I'm going to grab one second. You know what? Here's the Artify brush, okay? Let me just show you how the Artify brush was holding. All right. Because that Artify brush, you see that? That's why I was like, oh, I could probably recommend these if... the ferrules weren't all loose and you didn't get the wrong brush in the set. And so again, even coming down through here in my trees that are going to be closer, I'm still, and sometimes pine trees have like, oh, they got a, it's like sticking off on some wonky side. And remember, no two trees are alike. Chances are there's a tree that looks like that somewhere out there in nature. See, I can get those points on there. I just really like the brush. So yeah, I did like it. Um, it is stiff, uh, it does have snap. Um, so if that's something you like in a watercolor brush, but until I hear back from Artify, I can only tell you what I'm experiencing not if I would recommend or not recommend. Okay, this is, it's drying. So I just, I need to just enough, just enough water to reactivate what I had there and use up the rest of that on these trees. Cause next we're gonna go in with much, it's gonna be much bolder. Okay. And this is a really quick, and after this we will be done. So I'm definitely going to do the stuff um, So thank you. I'm definitely going to do uh, the other ones that Teresa sent. We're gonna we're gonna put that to next Thursday, especially since she had to go. I will give them a sneak peek. The patrons will get a sneak peek tomorrow in the um, on Discord, and I will I will play with them there so patrons can get to enjoy that but um we're gonna do it next thursday so no worries i will get that set and we're gonna do some I, i'm gonna get that it gives me a chance to get even more fun stuff to show you so now look at that when i pull back with the water at the base okay getting a little bit of water just touch that off and i can come in here right get that water pull that across 
And now as they come in, it's going to activate some. I don't want it to push. See how it's wanting to push up? It's because more water, less pigment. So what I want to do is now I'm just making it so that I don't have that really harsh line. And I'm just going to kind of stand this up and let it kind of flow down for a minute. And it will flow. And if I just pull that through with my wet brush, right? And just kind of let it do its thing. There we go. So now, last part, I have this. Let's get some trees that are focal. For that, I could have done, why don't, I'll do the, I'll do, I'm going to mix it. All right, so I'm going to go with the grape seed and I'm going to take some of the peach stone, which is the neutral. Okay, so that's what we're going to go with. Hello to Vantalyn. <clears throat> okay. So we're going to mix that in there. And I don't want a ton of water on this one. So... It's dried out somewhat in this um, half pan, but we're gonna pull that over here. Okay, there we go. Are you ready? I'm not looking at a reference photo. I'm just, let's just go. Some trees. I want one here. I want it to be in front. Let me make sure you can have that, you're seeing that on view. I'm gonna take this off to the side. Okay, so. Let's think, and look, there is a little bit of red. So they had to have been a brush oak crystal that was just like a rogue crystal on the mat that got pulled up there, but that's okay. Again, I'm not sure how much, cause see, I don't normally use this brush. Once you have a brush that you use all the time, you're gonna know how you've loaded it. You're gonna know, does that have too much water in it? Um, you know, is it gonna drop too much on the page? You're just gonna know, cause you've, used it. What we're going to do is we're going to start again. If you don't know, or if you're not used to the brush, or if you're new to doing this, I'm going to start kind of not at my bottom, but almost the bottom. Just on my first tap to the paper, if there's too much, it's going to deposit it down here. It's going to disappear and blend away with that tree. Now that I know if I tap, I'm just getting a little, I'm going to say, okay, I want my tree. Maybe I want my tree to be right about here. So I'm going to start and I'm just I'm going to switch this up, guys. Let's see. Here we go. All right. Move that where you can see it. Okay. So I'm just going to come in here. I'm going to be, I'm going, I'm going to be working at an odd angle, but I will try to pull that off. Don't worry about your trees. You see how I'm just kind of tapping? I'm tapping down. So evergreens, the tops tend to grow upward. But as it goes, picture it like, like this and it just keeps going. So it starts like this and then it goes and it grows, they grow down and out. So at the very top, they're kind of shooting outward because that's the new growth reaching up. But as we move our way down, then we start to get the branches that like they, they come out and everything kind of goes down. So as I go along, I'm going to be remembering like, here's my, I'll boot, bring my trunk of my tree down. And then I'm just thinking, okay, I've got branches that are coming and I'm not being particular. I'm just kind of tapping, just tap. This is about where it would be. And they kind of stagger and in they go. I don't want to make it too wide. I'm going to do other trees. So I'm not worried about this one being perfect because you know what? I've got some space, but the next tree might just come and grow into that one. So I'm not going to worry about it. So there's a tree. Then I'm going to come back, grab me some more. So again, this is the Artify uh, three quarter inch cat's tongue. I do like the way it holds point. Um, I'm definitely going to keep you guys updated as to what um, Artify says. If they reach out to me, if they reach back and answer. 
So then I'm just, where am I going to want another one? Okay, I want another one right there. Oh my gosh, my line was wonky. I don't care. It's fine. Again, trees do not grow perfect in nature. No true trees are going to look the same. Just have fun, dab them in, let them go. And I'm going to try to do these quickly. Now they've kind of told you how I do it. I'm just going to do some quickly. All right, and maybe I just have a, maybe there's just a one that's kind of dying back there. And it happens. Maybe I want to fill an extra. He's back there. There we go. Boom. You see, I didn't bring that one all the way down, but that's all right. I'm not, because look, I'm going to put one here. I'm making them of different size. So which one do you like the best now? Tara asked, which one, which one, what? Let me pop that up there so everybody can see which one, what do I like the best? And I'm just going to put a little, sometimes we just do little tiny, you see, I just little tiny, like they're reaching up to the sky, uh, the trees that might be in the background. Okay, and I'm gonna come in a little bit of water. I still have the paint on my brush. I just dipped it. So um, of the liquid charcoal, oh, I haven't tried the other one that I showed you, which was actually liquid pencil. So I'm guessing graphite. So as far as which do I like, I'm just gonna have this be like a landmass. Again, I wanna push that other stuff back. So I'm gonna let that come down. And maybe, we have a couple over here because, you know, we got to have just a couple over here. All right. I'm going to put one. And again, it doesn't matter. I have trees there. I'm going to go right over them. This is darker, so it's going to cover. Sometimes I'll find that I go to do that. Like I started at the top because of the way the rest of them were feeling. And if that... If that didn't get a little wonky there, that's okay. Let me bring you back up top. I'm just going to put the side cam in the corner for you there. How's that? Okay. So I got a little wonky. Don't worry about it. Like these are the things and I just touched right there, which is not what I wanted to do. Mm. Maybe there's, there's some, it's going to be some texture. Let me some texture in the ground. We'll just fix it. Just, you just, things like that happen. You just got to roll with it, you know? And then, you know, try not to put your hand in it again in a second. Okay. Again, normally it's taped down, so I don't worry about it as much. But I'm just, if my line goes a little where I didn't want it, I'm just going to keep painting that tree as if it didn't. And that line's going to kind of, you'll see, disappear. I really like the grape seed and I'll bring those swatches back over here in a minute before we go and we will look at the three colors. Um, this peach stone is looking, you know, this is the one that's kind of neutral. Oh, as far as I'm concerned, it looks more neutral. The grape seed looks cooler and the cherry pit. And if I have little spots through my trees, so do they in nature and no worries. Now you can go back again we're just doing this quickly, but you could go back again. Um, if this dries and you go, oh, I want to darken it up, darken up some places, go for it. Go for it. Grabbing just a little bit more water so that I can wet what is on here. I, I love, I am loving working with this though. I will say that um, I'm liking the effects that I'm getting. You guys, how many of you use liquid charcoal? Drop me a comment. 
And again, if you would like to join us and be part on Fridays, every Friday, we are live on my Patreon Discord server and um, we're on the disc we're on discord uh, for patrons that's what I was trying to say and access to that is uh, my lowest tier gets access to that and that is just three dollars a month and you can join us we are at 10 30 a.m eastern time we talk about all kinds of stuff artsy what are our art goals what are we trying to improve do you have questions um maybe somebody else in the group can help you with, um, you know, there's all kinds of stuff. And see, some of the, the holes will get filled up as the next tree comes in. So, boom. And maybe, just maybe, there's a few tall ones back there. These guys, what? Oh, they're kind of old trees. Maybe the tops are just dying. Look at that. There we go. And... I think I want maybe one more little one here. And I think that's, that's all that I want. Maybe there's just a little guy right here. All right. Happy little tree. I do have my Bob Ross socks on guys. I do. So I'm just channeling my inner, my inner Bob at the moment. I do. So some of a happy, happy little accents or something. I don't know. I would never be able to get my foot up here to show you. Um, but yeah, I do. So now where this has dried, this is what I was saying. You can always come back and you can tap in if you want some more darks here and there. Leave some lights. Go for it. I am not adding, I'm not adding more water. So you see here, my apologies. So here, my palette is really starting to dry out. Like this is thicker consistency. And look at the granulation on this palette. That is gorgeous. So I'm just grabbing that pigment. I shouldn't push as far as blooms and such. Blooms happen when you have more water, less pigment. If I come in with a thicker mixture of pigment, then it's not going to, uh, not in the traditional way. Like we talk about, you see blooms. Uh, I'm going to add that pigment in. Here we are. So we have this stand and I can use almost all, just the edge, barely touching. And I can just kind of, I want to drop some more dark shadow here. And if, if I can't get it dark enough now, of course I can just pause, wait a moment, let that to dry and then come back in and drop more pigment after. I just want the bases of the trees to have a little extra of that darkness there and with my brush if I barely touch you know I can kind of bring it's, it's a little too wet from grabbing all that but if it was drier I could have just dry brushed a little bit of texture through here okay look at that so we weren't we didn't get to the inks and that's because Teresa did have to go and since Teresa was the one who sent those to me, I definitely want her to be able to see that. So I am going to give a little sneak peek for patrons tomorrow during. So I guess I'm going to be going video patrons um, in Discord tomorrow. I will be sharing some video. I'll figure it out. I'm sure I can make it happen somehow. And then we'll do a sneak peek of those. So can I just say... Thank you so much, Ashley. Look at that. So there you go, guys. There's like my little, my little misty forest looking. Um, <clears throat> what do you think? Just a quick, I love doing these. I can do, these are one of the things I could paint them monochromatic over and over and over again in so many different, um, yeah, so I can see you. There we go. So many different um mediums i did one i did one in i'll share it over in the mewe art group i did a card and i did it in the daniel smith sea green 
It's beautiful granulation, beautiful separation of colors. And the way that it's separated, like the yellows just kind of faded into the fog and then the blues just kind of sat there and left that nice cool trees in the distance. I will share a picture of it over on um, the in the MeWe art group. If you're not familiar, we do have a new art group over on MeWe. It is called Exploring Art. That link should be in the description below. I will double check it after this to make sure that it is. It's a new art group. We are growing. I've been doing welcome posts every week because we're getting new members every week, which is so exciting. Yay. I love having everybody there. It's such a fun, positive space right now, and I'm just really enjoying it. So I'm going to share that over there. And uh, Carkfine Art is the slightly reddish color the peach nut charcoal um are you talking about this here i didn't put i didn't put the cherry pit so cherry oops 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 cherry pit i did not use that's the warm one i did not use in this piece this right here is um a rogue uh brush oak crystal that i did not fully get off the desk so when water got to it it on and yeah that's brush oak right there so yeah, that was my mistake. I will clean the mat a lot more thoroughly the next time. Uh, so that was that. I hope that answered your question. Up here in the front, this is peach, the peach stone. So if that's what you're asking, this is peach stone. And that was these trees in the foreground. So let me just bring that up for, oops, if I can hold it straight. Really focus. There you go. So that is what the peach stone looks like peach stone and then back here look at the granulation you see that that was not great and no granulation medium there but you see that granulation that's the grape seed so grape seed grape seed did all of our distance trees all these distant trees were grape seed and then the peach stone the neutral one that was our trees here in our foreground so that was that that was our little Little, and you could take this, this could even, you could use this on a card. I could take this, of course I would trim the red, but I could take this and I could glue it right to a card and then I could put some sentiment or just put the sentiment on the inside. But yeah, this is still wet, but I will get pictures of those. I'll get pictures of that and post it over um, in the art group. So let's look at, here was the Daniel Smith. So this was dry, and you see we have blooms here, but we did drop in a lot of the pigment in the water. And so there again, like I said, we put water on the paper. Our pigment had a lot of water. We dropped that in and that'll force a bloom. If you are doing, and you can see here, look, there's what I was talking about. See that texture? Okay. So that's the texture you get if you put the sticks directly to paper. If you don't want that, we would just, you could mix them up in a palette and paint them just like regular watercolors. Um, here, this is the color. So right from the end of the stick, when we did that with the water and put down, but again, I had put a strip of water. I had a lot of water to pull that pigment off the stick. It was a very thin um, mixture. It wasn't creamy and think. Paul Clark said it best um, not long ago in one of his videos. If you guys don't know who Paul Clark is, um, no relation. He's in the UK. I'm in the US. And he is a wonderful watercolor painter. He teaches watercolor. He has taught watercolor. Uh, it's very clear he's taught watercolor for a long time. But anyhow, he was talking about mixtures. And you have your really, your really thin, your really thin wash. That's like the consistency of tea, he said. And then I believe he said that then you bump it up. And then that is like the consistency of say milk. And then you bump it up again. When I say bump it up again, I'm, I'm meaning adding pigment, not water, adding water, the watercolor, the paint, not water. So you have your mixture and now you add your watercolor or, you know, your medium to that. So first it's like tea then it's like milk. Then he said, it'd be like cream. And then when you go like full on, like I'm taking it from the pan, that kind of thick, creamy, like yogurt. And that's the way he described it. And it totally unlocked it for me. And I was like, that's it. And so when you're laying down one wash, if you're going to come back in and lay down more, 
it needs to be the next level or higher consistency. So if I lay down like a wash that's like tea, my next one that I come back with is gonna need to be like milk or I might cause blooms because I'll have too much water. So I'll be putting too much water in the area and pushing that. So there you go. You can see the blooms there. But just look at, and I hope that was helpful. So there you see here, look at that black. And see, I told you lunar black will granulate because it's PBK 11. So it's Mars black. And there that is right there. There it is on the paper. So look at the texture you get. That would be great if you say you're painting. Sorry, guys, I moved it and went out of focus. Say you're painting rock and you took that stick and you went right in and you colored over it and then you activated it. Look at the texture you would get. So there is there's definitely a use. If you wanted to go right in with sticks. So there's your Daniel Smith watercolor sticks. I touched it. Look, guys, I did it again. I touched right here. So I am just going to touch said poor tree up. Just popping. You guys can't see because I have it off camera. Put my finger right in. I knew it was wet and I put my finger right in it. And but that's okay because, again, I'm not coming in with water. I was just pulling up what was on. You see how dry this is, but there is a little moisture in this brush still. So I'm pulling this up, right? That's going to get moist, wet. Sorry, some people don't like that word. It's going to get in the brush because of its dampness. And I can come in here, drop some more in. And we will just try to try to make it better and make pretend that my finger never touched it in the first place. All right, let's blend it through. And it might not be perfect, but guess what? It's good enough for today. I could mess with it. I could let it dry and, you know, come back and that'd be fine too. So anyways, if I do, I will share that with you. I will post a picture of it. Okay. So there was our quick little, but let me show you the, these are still wet. So I'm just going to leave these open and set them over here. Rinse this brush out. So yeah, I'm going to let you guys know what Artify says. Okay, so if I hear back, because I would, you know, consider saying these are a set of brushes I would recommend. As far as the other ones, no. I still say no. Here we go. Here they are. Okay, this is not completely dry. So look at how, what we got. So this was water. This was granulation medium. Water. Granulation medium. Okay, this one's not fully dry, but water and then, come on, focus for me. I moved my hand and I know that that messes it up. There we go. And so the bottom had the granulation medium. What do you think? Is it worth using granulation medium with them? They do have some granulation all on their own. If you want extra, I guess, but you might be able to achieve that even with just some salt water. I don't know, haven't tried it yet. I will. Um, so there you go. So starving artist collective says must get going now. I like the liquid charcoal painting. Well, thank you very much. And we're going to get going too. Um, I just want to make sure that, so thank you so much to Ashley of gypsy heart crafts, not only for being, um, uh, one of my moderators, but for sending me this wonderful, liquid charcoal to try and the core watercolors because I did, sh I, like I said, I've shown you guys those. Like, where's the palette? Where did I put it? It's right here hiding under the paper towel. So she did send those to me and just so I can on the screen show you, they are actually, because this is my Daniel Smith palette. Yes, but these are the core colors and these are what those core colors, the bottom row are what those core colors look like swatched out. So let me just bring that there to show you. They are beautiful colors, beautiful colors. 
I will be doing more with these. I will absolutely be doing more with these. I love them. They are them. Those and my Daniel Smith are definitely my favorite. Again, there is a video when I got these. I shared that my first impressions and using them. It's tagged in the description as is. I'm sorry. I'm reaching across here, guys. I just want to show you. This is what the set looks like. Okay. So this is what the set looks like. I did get an, a replacement set because those were so amazing. I wanted to be able to fill them up even more. So starving artist collective. I was hope to see you next Thursday and there, oh, and there was the swatch for those core colors right there. Just so if you want to get a look at how they swatched out and lifted, cause I was able to lift. Now this lifting was done with an eraser guard and a magic eraser. You guys don't know what magic eraser is. I know I have them on my desk. <clears throat> this is a piece that I cut off of one. Okay. You see there, will it focus for me? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Look at that. So you see all my fingernail, see how some of it came off like right there, the dust. Yeah. But you wet that squeeze out most of the water and then you can control it and really get in and, and you can lift even core. It lifted and it did not mess up my paper. I didn't scrub hard. I just let me put that out there. I did not scrub hard. So, but you can see it in the video and the video is linked in the description below. So if that is of interest for you, please do check it out. The other video that I linked in the description below is if you would like to see more, I'm going to do more with these liquid um, charcoal. And I'm going to compare them to the liquid pencil that I showed you that I received. So that's going to be one that'll be coming. But if you want to see more before I do that, I put a link to uh, below to Ashley's video uh, where she used these colors and she created a gorgeous eagle. So please do, if you have the time and you have not seen it, check that out. That link is also down there. I have links to all of the supplies with the exception of the De La Rowney, um, inks that came to me from Teresa. These patrons will get a sneak peek tomorrow. So if you can't wait, you can hop right on over to Patreon and for as little as $3 a month, you'll be in. And this will not be a video that you wouldn't have access to because I'm going to do this in the Discord chat. So by all means, come hang out with me. I would love to see you there. I have got some ideas. There is some other material involved that I wanted to show you. I was hoping to show you today, but really we would have to just keep on going. And again, people will be waiting on me for dinner. So, um, oh, you know, that is not a problem. That is not a problem. Um, I want them to see what you did. You did amazing work. And I apologize that I don't have it sitting here. I meant to grab it and I don't have it sitting here to show them. So in with this tin, I also ended up with the beautiful, she sent me, I have her eagle. And so I have it and it's posted out there. So Ashley, um, please share a po share a picture of your eagle because I know you're going to have a better picture than if I take one now share a picture of your eagle in the art group over on on MeWe exploring art on MeWe uh so it's going to be what's that MeWe.com forward slash join forward slash exploring art join us over there uh, there's also a community post that I shared inviting anybody artist of I don't care what medium you're working in I I am the host it's all about artists. So yeah, check those out. Um, and the swatch card was not watercolor paper. It was basic cardstock. Oh yeah. The swatch card for yes, the core colors. Let, let's, let's just say that right there. This is cardstock folks that these core watercolors are swatched on. And I was able to lift these colors and not destroy that paper. And that was using that magic eraser and an eraser guard. So I did swatch the colors. If you, the link of mine that's in the video description below, I did swatch them on uh, cellulose paper and on cotton paper. Does it make a difference? I think it does. Go check out the video. You'll see. And yeah, I can also put a link right up 
uh, and at the end, I can put a link for you to check it out. I will do that. So there we go. There's one more look for you. Look at the, just the granulate. Granulation medium was the bottom ones. I like it. I'm going to, we're going to try that again with some other stuff. So all of these patrons we are going to be doing some playing tomorrow you are going to see some things and then i'm going to expand on that we will be back here next thursday this is what we're going to do i will push the watercolor so if any of you are looking forward to that sorry but we're going to push it one more week because you know it teresa this was very generous and just i am i'm just Wow. I still, wow. I can't believe that you sent, I mean, can we get them all in the shot there? Like I'm amazed and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we're not going to miss out on this. This is going to be next Thursday. And that means we get to go deeper. We're going to look at a whole bunch of stuff with it. I will have quite a bit planned out for that one. What did you think of these applies? Check out the moderators channels. Uh, Ashley, Gypsy Heart Crafts, Joseph, Art of Joseph Fincham. Their links are below. Thank you so much, guys, for all of your help when we do this. And yes, this will be next Thursday now. Watercolor markers will be pushed out one week. And so we know what we're doing the next two weeks. I will be right back here in the new studio and let's get that so I can see you there so we can say goodbye again. Everyone, thank you for showing. If you've stuck around to the end, if you've stuck around to the end, I want you to drop a comment. Tell me what's your favorite way to use acrylic um, inks. Have you used them? If you haven't used them, let me know that too. Let me know if you haven't used acrylic inks, but I want to hear what's your favorite way to use them. Do you airbrush with them? Do you paint them? Do you like to paint on paper, paint on canvas? Like let's, let's hash that all out in the comments. And I am going to put a link this way. Nope. This way here, 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 right there. It's probably, wait a minute. Nope, wrong way, that way, and it's that way. We don't know. There's going to be a link. Not there. It's over here. <laughs> so anyways, there's going to be a link here, and if I don't move over, it's going to cover me, but I'm going to put it right there. Yeah, now I've got it. There's going to be a link right there. If this was a regular video, this blooper would be all edited, and you wouldn't see it, but we're live without a net, so there you have it. <laughs> right there will be a link for you to check out the core video if you're interested in seeing that. So just click right there and I'll head on over and see you in just a moment. Until then, have a great day. Keep creating. And I'm going to see you next Thursday. We're doing acrylic inks. Check out the moderators. All the links for all the things are in the description. I will add the link for these soon. And we'll see you guys next Thursday at three. Thanks, guys. Have a great evening. And uh, if I can shut it off, we will be good. <laughs> Bye, guys.